Hello, everybody. Uh, so let's see here. The uh, this is going to be GTA Four any percent, and um, just uh, some quick things to throw out quickly there at the beginning. At the beginning here, uh, the the version being ran is one point zero point four point zero, and uh, if you want to run that version, you need to find some way to downgrade the game, um, either by buying a physical copy or finding some files somewhere online legally of course uh and uh the shadows will be turned off the entire run because of uh, a strategy later believe it or not okay let's go here <laughs> anything stig is here to commentate yeah. and uh for as long as he feels like okay we're gonna start the run here the timer begins when like the white screens go away uh, after yep. this count me all in. right so i'm going to press enter it's going to be like two to three seconds there go all right so uh basically like this this is going to feature you can see this like little timer up in the corner top left corner of the uh, window there um that's the frame the fps monitor and at times, I will be locking the FPS to 26 with a with an external program. And this is because a lot of waiting periods in this game uh, move or you know finish up a bit sooner when you have lower FPS. And it is ideal to have your FPS right there at about 26 for these. Like right here, it's locked because even that right there, you can speed it up a little by locking the FPS. All right, let's see what I, I'm not going to go for the break because the last thing I want is to stand here for 20 seconds pushing. Voice choice. I'm going to be safe this run. I, I, I feel like in the past, I've never really played as safely as I am going to play today. Um, yeah, well, very tight estimate today. I love those tight estimates, you know. I'm a I'm a big fan of them. Because <laughs> yeah, then yeah, I'm aware. Really, <laughs> sometimes you get a new world record, and sometimes you go over by ten minutes. Just keeps every like. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I think in, a, in past runs as well, like I've I've failed. There's so many little things happening that it's hard to keep up with them. And that's not to say that isn't happening in other games. Um, I don't know. Does this game actually have like more little things happening constantly than other games? It's hard to say. I don't run any. <laughs> so. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of things going on at the same time. Especially when you're using a frame limiter, and there's like there are specific. You can pretty much guarantee that in most cases it might. If you if the uh, game looks like this, where it's looking really choppy, and it says 26, it's because I've locked the frames. Yeah. Like I mentioned already. Yeah. And, um, Wait, what? Where's your phone? Why what? Well, the phone. Oh, oh well, I'm I'm gonna bring it up when I need to. I usually, if I'm not bringing it up at the beginning, I'll bring it up the moment I see the truck come around the corner. This is like, here's a strategy. I wonder if I'm gonna pull it off though. I failed it the other day. See there, I actually somehow failed. <laughs> Let's let it go. Let's just let it go on and answer. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Anyway, like the little strategies, hard to explain exactly what's going on, but it's mainly because the, that would been that would have been to get the phone to come up to his ear, and like um, he's like hanging it up right as the call comes in, so he's like pulling it away from his ear, and it's not all the way down. Let's say like near his pocket, and uh, that therefore will speed up the time it takes to like hang up the call. Uh, something so there's just one example all right this is a drive back which should go pretty well the only time that the controller will be used during this run is when I'm flying the helicopter later and sometimes the frame limiter will turn I'll, I'll lock the frames to 26 depending on like well especially when you're on the motorcycle and when you want to make a sharp turn or like spin the car because if your frames are lower you can spin the car you can make sharper turns it's not that like drastic of a difference really but 
All right, we're gonna have to find a try to find a pistol here. Uh, it'd be unfortunate if I <laughs> unfortunate if I don't get one. Here. Oh, this is promising. Ah, he actually brought one out. Lucky me. Okay, what just happened right there? You you aim the shotgun. You, he pulls it out. You see it in his hand, and then you fire one shot. The the pistol begins to drop. And what you're what is happening at that moment is, uh, I'm spamming E. Like I want Nico to be really close to where the pistol is falling down to the ground, and I'm spamming E, the pick up weapon button or pick up object button, like picking up bricks or bottles or things like things like that in this game. If you quickly pick up the pistol as it's dropping, before Nico would automatically pick it up, where it just disappears and goes into your inventory, um, you will, you'll get max ammo or somewhere around 60 shots. Uh, usually it's max ammo, which is 1,500. Uh, so many people ask about that, so... That's a weird one, but... I also did a little trick to speed up the car starting up at the very beginning of this mission by uh, making a call, which is a, is another very very tiny micro optimization. True, yeah, it's uh, so close to the old way that it's hard to even say if it's real. Is this a real stratagem or not? They ask. Yeah, as always, there are a lot of things like that in this game. Is this a real stratagem? Stratagem is a question that has been asked many times. It is if you believe in it. I will be getting the hat here, and this is because I let everybody down in the past. And I won't let anyone down again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another thing to point out here is that the frames, the frame rate will never go above 250. That is something that, like, world record runs are um, forced to abide by. Because if your game goes above 250, it will speed up. Uh, the game, the, the game speeds up when your FPS goes above 250. So, you know, that's why there's one frame limiter that is preventing the FPS from going above 250, and another one on hand that is allowing me to lock it to 26. Yeah, it's very evident if you go above well, 250 FPS that Nico just starts running faster and everything is just uh, moving way, way faster than it should. Taking it safe. <laughs> yeah. Badly. Wow, and one of those moments, I just had everyone's oh, heart, no, no. Oh, heart wow. racer, you know, that's that's what they call the <laughs> heart racing stunner right there. This was like the last moment save. <laughs> I, some would say I, I, subconsciously, did I want that to happen? I don't know. <laughs> no? Shoutouts to Morphin who always goes for the headshot in this mission. Yeah, if you don't get this shot, you have to follow uh, Darden all the way to Boabo, and it costs you like two minutes. Mm -hmm. And if it hadn't, ha if that had happened, I mean, if, if he had entered the car and I could no longer shoot at him, once he gets in and begins to move, he can't be killed, I would have uh, reset by killing Roman, and I'd be up on the hill, I'd drive back down and, uh, or run if I can't find a car. Um, and then, and then I would start it over again and it would, if it happens a second time, I probably should just like pass the, pass this to, to Stig here to finish because I must not be capable <laughs> doing it. Well, well, basically it's just faster to, yeah. to fail. It, oh yeah, it's faster to fail. Yeah, that's the yeah. reason. That's the, luckily you, you, you spawn close by, You're, it wouldn't restart the entire mission. Um. Even though the mission kind of like, in a way, begins way back there, near Michelle's apartment, it's um, the the marker is a, is at the basketball court. Yeah, we almost had her door blocked here, which would have been bad. But 
yeah, is a good skip instead of going bowling. You go play, quote unquote, pool mm -hmm. with Michelle, which is starting the game and immediately canceling it, and it counts for the mission to for the mission objective to be completed, and you could just drive her back home. Being really cautious there because I can only see I can see it happening where I hit a pet on the corner and the cop around the wall there, you know, fires one shot and fails the mission. Uh, even though I did end up hitting him, I guess those guys those guys don't jump out of the way as soon as I, I thought they do. Just like her back there, she she really took a slow roll. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. When I'm when I'm trying to be, I'm gonna bump it up. The safety, this my my feeling of uh, being too too safe or safe enough has uh, I'm gonna reduce that a little bit here. So this this run might go off the rails here now. I, when I when I try to be safe, I, I feel like I like really take turns a lot slower than I would normally. Uh, like the FPS is locked here, so you can get this text a little bit sooner. There it is. It's very important to get that text right there. It, it's also important to delete it, though it can come mm -hmm. back. Yeah, you want to delete this text for all those. Uh, out there who are running this game and not deleting this text before you finish this uh, mission you're gonna be getting the you're gonna end up getting that text in a second time which is, which is no good yeah you, you this is like the last romance cab driving mission uh, it involves a uh, escaping the police chase and Kyle has a certain route he takes which makes the escape quite quite quick if everything goes right the streets are clear no blind no blind corner collisions yeah. let's see full behaves the pole yeah, luckily I have a pistol. I mean, I feel like if I get if I'm spotted again, I guess I'll just go through the park and avoid hitting people. So there's a strategy here where think of it like this: like right now, there's there's text appearing. It's all right if this is taking a little while. We'll have to get down here too. There's text appearing because of the mission. So he says this right here, and you want to wait about. So I just fired some shots into that guy after about 2.5 seconds following, like, a little audio cue there. And the, the wanted area... Did it just go back? Oh, it didn't actually work? That's bizarre. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why it happened. Oh, that's very bizarre. Yeah. I should have fired some more shots into that uh, other guy there. Anyway, well, it, it, the wanted area is supposed to uh, jump back to where you were firing shots into... I want to be careful here. I could go around the corner a little bit sooner, but... Um... Yeah, Kyle was supposed to lose them uh, right at the end of mission marker. But yeah, because but... the circle didn't move, he had to drive away. Yeah, weird. I, I don't know why. That really felt right, but... Uh, oh, that right yeah. there was a video editor warp, um, which is used uh, in this game to get back to the, you know, the nearest apartment by going into the phone and video editor warping. Any good cars yeah, around here? Later in the run, because of a certain glitch, Kyle won't be able to do this anymore. Right. Give me the car, tough guy. Oh, I, I cannot keep up. Is, is restra restaurant uh, strat obsolete now? Again? <laughs> All these changes. Oh wow, this is bad that I'm getting uh, I'm getting fired at by this guy. I actually have to like oh, yeah, hide, or I could lose the fuck. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> nice cover. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect that. Um Yeah, if you get hit uh while answering the phone call, the phone call cancels and you have to wait for it again. Which would, which can cost you like up 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 to a minute. Uh, yeah. in, in this mission, the game tells you to pick up a brick and uh break the the glass with it, but you can actually just push it or shoot it like Kyle does here, because he has a pistol. Yeah, the And then after this, uh 
Uh, you're hoping here that this taxi doesn't cross through the intersection, which it look it doesn't look like it will be, but I'm gonna spam here to try to skip a cutscene. Lower FPS makes it possible, but it didn't work. <laughs> it's also possible anywhere between 26 and 250. It gets harder the higher the FPS. Yeah, but, but it's possible. <laughs> it's definitely possible at uh, 26. He's a very cool marker. Uh, don't play with the uh, he turned here instead of into the wall. And, you know, this probably oh. came down to a pixel, a pixel off. Most yeah, it's, it's very precise, this one. But uh, Kyle will use this marker again later. Maybe that's how oh, we'll, he did. We'll, we'll he did. see. He did a nice drive all the way down here, which I didn't expect. I should have I guess he always does. Kind of forgot about that one. But uh, just like trying to get a car here because... So like, you, you want to you wanna grab a car, honk, to trigger Jacob, and then get back into the... Get back in and just hold. That's a very nice car. Wow, wait a second. He didn't... Oh, oh God. you didn't... Yeah, you f forgot to change the destination. That's all right. Anyway, that's an ex a good example. If like what needed to happen there is I needed to press W, but I didn't. If I press W to like go through, go uh, up one in the uh, destination menu, uh, he would have warped or not. He, well, not warp. He warps. Um, he, the destination would uh, appear for the yellow marker here, which. Which is, uh, otherwise it was going to pick that destination uh, without pressing up once and then back. That won't happen later after Roman Sorrow, I promise. <laughs> I don't want to fire here and get a wanted level, but I could try to speed him up with a little uh, fun strategy where he slides across the ground on top of a uh, piece of wood. Yeah, this is a strategy on the four risky games. Look, the first example of crouch spam. I'm not sure if it's the last one. Yeah, I think it is the first and last. The yeah. only. Yeah, st starting from uh, the ball in the China shop, the previous mission, uh, like the taking cabs uh, becomes the crucial part of the run. But here, Kyle needs uh, to actually steal this cab and uh, use it to cancel <coughs> an end of mission call and then drive to to the market, which he will spawn by calling little Jacob. All right, we want a, a taxi here. Yeah, this is a, th th this cab. Uh, Spawns at this mission consistently, but it can go in different directions. Okay, Gonna hope to not get a wanted level here. Nice warp. Yeah, the warps are, are good in this game. Because uh, I was on that side, I'd warp out because Jacob is on the other. Blocking me there. Yeah. I will use. Uh, will probably use this this very strategy to get into the cab. Oh no no no! No? <laughs> I, mean, I thought you meant like something Mafian would be very happy to see. <laughs> Lots of warps. No no, and... no not that kind of thing. <laughs> Mafian is a very run... speedrunner. Mafian uh, is a <laughs> speedrunner. Mafian. <laughs> and, <laughs> retired uh, speedrunner Moffin is a big fan of warping into caps, which is is something that you know it, it's an example of a strategy. Let's say that every runner could practice more often than they they are doing. Maybe Moffin. It's just kind of it feels very inconsistent. I want to I want to grab that uh, the ammo there. Just I don't want to end up for, you know, needing some ammo for that shotgun later if, if I happen to want to go for that strat, you know, uh, which will happen in about how, 10 minutes, 10 to 15. Yeah. There's a, str I might need to end up going for the shotgun, a shotgun strategy, which, 
which uh, if I don't have enough, I, I do have enough already, but I might want to have more. Yeah, so in GTA 4, you have to keep running, so the, the, the friend you have with you keeps running as well, which is, what Kyle, which is exactly what Kyle was doing here, to try to get Jacob to the market quickly. Oh, Dolos, the dream. Just like changing the weapons here will block incoming calls. Yeah, just so like aiming. You'll end up getting the text. I can guarantee that instead of a, a phone call. This is a nice little strategy on this mission as well. Where I am. Thanks a lot. It skips an annoying chase. Yeah, you can yeah, what you're doing here. You trigger the marker by shooting by shooting near it. Then you run to this van, press F, and as soon as you do it, the mission, the, the final cutscene plays and the mission ends. You just wait, go back to the apartment. Oh, here he is, the the retired runner. Ooh, what a wonderful cab here! Wow. He always gets them. Except the other day when I practiced once. I think I, I ran down the road. Right. There are a couple of routes you can take on this one. Uh, the one of them was credited to Casey Fru. Who, who was running this game. Like a year ago, believe it or not, and he took a quite a unique path, uh, something that uh, GTA 4 speedrunners at the time weren't used to doing. But I think it was like an option back in the day as well. Just kind of came back to life thanks to him, and Leon implemented it into his runs. Now even Kyle does it himself, performs this. Uh, Strategy, but it doesn't work very well for him. Unfortunately. Yeah, I had a nice T bone moment. Not really much you can do there. If you see the car coming, I mean, you could start slowing down, but that's pretty much what happened there. Yeah. It, it could happen if you're being out of path as well. Take a tricky jump there. Somewhat. You don't want to hit anybody there. You could, if you get a wanted level, you can't uh, you can't go into the garage. Yeah. All right. So what is this? Oh, here's here's this. This is going to. I'm going to go for it. I, oh. I, you know why not? For the fans. Kyle is going to showcase the. The quickest and the hardest way of doing this mission is going to kill Ivan uh, while, well, by just shooting him with a pistol. Ooh, I don't know about this. Uh... All right, Ivan, I don't know. Do He's dead. I, I had to like pull off of him with the SMG at the beginning instead of just wasting my shots because I realized I, I had missed him a little bit and I was in a weird position, but um, then it's alright. You, you can pull it out again later, just like I did there and, and take him down. Yeah, you still have to wait for Ivan to reach a certain point so the mission ends. Mm -hmm. But if you do this strategy, you can just be in the marker right when it ends, and it still saves time in comparison to like uh, the uh, a bit slower shotgun strat. Uh, changing the vehicle density, which is what I just did right there. Um, people ask about that as well all the time, and wonder what's going on when the, the runner is constantly entering the menu. 
Uh, that's too obvious. If you want to get, uh, like right now, everything's scripted, so setting it to 100 isn't going to impact, like, how many cars I run into in this, uh, or, you know, come in close prox proximity with during this drive, so... Uh, the reason it was set to 100, it could be set, you know, right now, technically, but there is a, in a uh, it is slightly more optimal to set your vehicle density to 100 when you enter a marker. Uh, because when you pause in a marker, there's like a fade out that begins to occur, and you kind of like save like a tiny bit of time by coming out of the pause menu, and then the fade out is already complete. So... That's why sometimes, like, changing the vehicle density to 100 or something else, like placing a marker, is done in a menu. Or as you touch a marker, is what I should say. Uh, and setting it to 100 is mainly done in almost every single time for, you know, just to increase the likelihood of getting a cab. Which, uh, I did get a nice cab here. He's, he's waiting for a prostitute. <laughs> wow, no, man. he's not. He's actually just like, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he is waiting for a prostitute with a passenger in the back. I'm, it's hard to say. That was a little strange. Maybe that passenger was uh, was the one getting the prostitute. Yeah, well, here comes the infamous crime and punishment missions with features, three events, like in many other GTA games. Well, I guess I'll <laughs> say all the basic things. There are three vans. Uh, one of them ha have CVs in it. But it's never the first one. It's either the second one with 51% possibility or the third one with 49% possibility. And uh, like, I don't know how to explain this. The the driver it doesn't depend on which van you go first to. Because no, I mean, no matter which one you take, the first one will always be the incorrect one. And uh, if the second one uh, happens to be the right van, it will be both of them. Yeah, it's like the game already picked determined at the very very at the very beginning if you're gonna get the if the second van you drive to. So like right now, no matter which one I go to, if it gave me. If it, if it blessed me with second van, I could go to either of these vans, and it would be correct. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna go to the safer one, because if it didn't... If I wasn't blessed with second van, which I was, um, I would have to come back to about this point. Yeah, this to nice thing, get the third right. van. So you can see it's a, it's a risky strategy. You can you can go for it and save a little bit of time if it ends up being, if you, you don't know if you have second van or, you know, you everybody would go up to the uh, northernmost van. I should have gone that way. And across through, eh, that, that looks like a tight gap there that I'm not used to having. Most runners who are okay with resetting will always go for second van. Uh, optimal second van, which was the one that would have been driving up here. And then they reset, unless they want to lose around a minute and a half. Yeah, once again, shutouts to Morphin. Yeah, there have been many attempts to figure out uh, how to detect the second van before you, you well, go for it. Mm -hmm. And all of them were unsuccessful so far. So if you feel like it, put some time into discovering uh, discovering the way to find out the correct one not find the correct one huh? like they say like the uh, the secret of the sands and the secret of the vans uh. Anyway, so this is going to be... I'm going to block this call. He's going to pull forward a little bit. Uh, or not. I guess I needed to just move back to the door a little bit sooner. He didn't move. It was a red light. I thought he was still in that weird position where he would pull forward. Good, Good trash can RNG. Mm-hmm. 
this strategy is like you could wait it out in this in this sex shop here doing like you know having a having a good time uh interacting with everybody or you can um shoot or aim at the guy on the right shoot the guy on the left and then call dimitri so by doing that and you watch the text at the bottom it says follow dimitri out of the shop that skips all of the nonsense inside Uh, just a weird, just a weird uh, glitch. Here we go. That's, uh, is it a glitch or is it an exploit? Well, I guess everything is a glitch in the end if it wasn't intended, right? It's also an exploit. Exploiting the glitch. Exploit, exploiting the bug. Uh, exploiting the bug. Right? Yeah. I guess. Ooh, I bought only 200 rounds. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. I should have enough for later. Yeah, Just luckily, Here we go. Dimitri didn't get stuck there. So you and Mr. He normally has to like really fall and also fall to, to the south. To gonna lock there. There's a chance of skipping this uh, cutscene if your frames are locked. Oh yeah, the second skip. Yeah, can you wait for the text? Which comes very quickly. Thank you. And uh, here's another very cool strategy. One might say it's almost pixel perfect. Yeah, just about, I mean. Well, so the head is not here. exactly one pixel, but... You, you can, like, hit the body of the guy. Kyle will try to snipe right now. And if you hit the body, he just starts running away. You have to settle for some backup strats. So, of course, like, yeah, we, we know if you're, if you're experienced, you'll know where to aim, where to stand, where to aim. Uh, that's all that really happened there. Mm. He's like stuck. He's weird. He's like in a weird place. They're getting stuck on the curb. That's all right. One of the shortest missions in the game. Here you go, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, you just kind of run over to the like door of the taxi here, and take out the shotgun. Yeah, if you don't do that. Uh the biker stays immortal you cannot kill him but if you like run across the road yeah you know you can kill him when he's red his dot you see the red dot appear yeah oh, we have a question in chat what's the best possible time for your splits kyle oh I mean, if I look at it right now, it says three hours, 24 minutes, and 23 seconds. Is that accurate? No. Um, maybe it's close. Maybe over the years as I like care to like f fix, try to fix it, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it gets closer and closer, but I, I don't know where it really is. I mean, that seems kind of accurate to me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. I, I, I can't ever see... In this run, it's like, it'd be insane for anybody to... And that's not without loads. That's with load times, so... It... Who knows? Um, it might be accurate. It's hard to know. Or well, pretty much accurate. Activity calls at different times. Yeah. So, you, you have to, for example, take that into consideration. Yeah. Yeah, there are... Um, Yeah, I guess over time you would have like every split would include the uh, activity call coming in maybe a little bit earlier than a call that might end up taking 10 extra seconds or it's hard to say. Oh yeah, that as well. 
Yo, here you can just overtake this guy on the stairs by jumping, which speeds up your movement uh, some, dramatically. Some people might notice the guns are floating, like the enemies who are holding guns, you see their guns just floating in the air after they're killed with headshots. Um, that That's something that is definitely the result of like high FPS. It's not like, could you say that it's a, it, I guess it, it, it technically, I don't think I could even call it an, an advantage. I think it actually ends up being somewhat of a disadvantage at times. Like, I don't know if there's some weird effect that nobody really thinks about like that because you don't really need their ammo ever. But uh, I don't know. I wonder if you have to actually wait longer to pick up the ammo or if there's some oddity where, you know, where you're not, you're having like a hard time taking the ammo because of uh, the way it's floating in the air there. Plenty of weird things can happen in this game with high FPS. If you if you want to get the authentic experience, limit to twenty five. Pretty much, yeah. I'm gonna block this and get into the door here. Yeah, th this one seems like a simple mission, but there's still a strategy involved. Kyle is going to. Aim at the cafe worker to skip her lines, and like a something that's reminiscent of a cutscene as well. That's great. Hey! Yeah, gonna call Jacob here. Um. Right, oh, I actually began pressing that. That that might have been frame perfect because I right clicked. <laughs> what a what a what a showcase of some frame perfect strategies here, which lead to nothing. Actually, probably cost me a little bit of time there. Um, <laughs> I heard the beep when I tried to hang up, and pretty rare to to get that. This is a very strange safe run by Kyle, just going for insane micro optimizations. Yeah, There's, uh, speaking of optimizations and stratagems, uh, here uh, Kyle is going to damage this truck a little bit so he doesn't have to blow it up manually uh, using like the bomb that's... well the, the truck will blow up because of the bomb but n n Kyle won't ma activate it manually. He will instead take some damage on this drive. Uh, when it's convenient to do so and then he will crash into the garage which will immediately activate the final cutscene well at least hopefully that that's what will happen motorcycle this could explode I've seen this happen before like if you go on to, if you are just like damage the motorcycle due to be uh, being on top of it, it could like blow up instantly catch fire right away oh a little yeah bit of a little risky fire, there yeah. yeah the fire near the uh, truck even if it's not touching the truck it will uh the imagine a bar that is filling up with each hit uh with fire near the truck it will that bar that bar is like filling up <laughs> even if it's not touching the truck um some runners have like failed to that they'll hit a car like going down the hill there on the bridge run into the back of a car and it will catch fire and the guy will like dive out uh, on fire with his with his car continuing to drive forward without him and on with the fire shooting out of the back left and right uh, and because the because the truck is like kind of near it at that point and trying to pull away from it you'll hear the the bomb start to uh, the, the rate at it, how at the the rate of the beeps will increase uh, and you'll have some runners who just react to that like Oh, what, 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 what just happened here? What just happened here? I don't, that makes no sense. You know, that type of response, and it's because of the fire. You know? I can remember a, a great Ilias clip where oh, I went to the wrong car. You know, I'm just talking about it. Reminiscing about the good old days and going to their own vehicle. Yeah, classic GTA 4 run. Yeah, here you have to call Roman twice for the um, the master and the Molotov market to appear.
Now they're all saying, why, 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 is the gray, why, the, why is the game so gray right now? Why is this game so gray? Well, create a mood. It's called setting, setting the, the scene. Very cinematic experience. Yes. And this is indeed quite a dark moment. Yeah, this is a good showcase of a Faustian quick kill. And now Kyle is going to get a police car that you need for easy esc uh, such a delete, sorry. Yeah. Um let's see. I'm go for the door loss. I'm just not gonna bother right now. Uh so you don't want to hit anybody here. If I came around this corner, kind of, it's kind of a blind corner, and there was some guy standing there, um, and I ran into him, I would, without a doubt, be getting a wanted level before I can get the call. Maybe somebody has managed not to get a wanted level after doing that, but even if they're, it's like you know the uh, the chaos meter or something. You know, it's tracking how much uh, how much like damage you've caused after firing a few shots into Faustin's back, and I think it's even maybe considering. The, the shots that you're firing, you know, after he dies, and you're still kind of firing at him, possibly? I'm not sure where that is, because it's a little weird that you get a, uh, a wanted level just by running, just because you ran into somebody there, but it's so consistent, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to say, uh, but it's not totally random. Nice taxi here. Yeah. Pretty good, man. Yeah, this is a, another, yet another, I don't even know which, which one, uh, another quick kill here, skips a lot of, uh, saves a lot of time. It's easy to imagine what the game would have been like if they, they really, they prevented you from getting quick kills. And, you know, it'd be... Yeah, it would be way longer and way less enjoyable. Yeah, they could be every mission where there's like a quick kill on some target could could be designed in a way where they're you know they want you to chase him, they want you to hear they want you to hear the dialogue if there is if that mission doesn't have any, I guess. Maybe he yells some things out. I don't know. I don't think he does. Remember. Weird taxi maneuver here. But it's nice. It's nice to be able to, you know, have the option to you know, it doesn't Nobody ever accidentally and accidentally quick killed somebody, uh, unless they're just really good and ready for it. Like, I don't know. So it's it's nice to be able to do that for the speed run, and also in casual play. Like people like to do these things casually after they learn about them. Yeah, it's probably not that exciting to do a long chase all over again. It's nice to have an option to do the mission quickly. And differently as well. Kyle now is going to do quite a spectacular drop. It's successful 99% of the time. Yeah. He, uh, like, he, you, ha you have quite a lot of control in the air. Uh, I mean, believe it or not, I didn't press a single key in the air there. I'm not sure if I believe that, but... Okay. Oh, I didn't. I really didn't. Okay, okay. That just happens because of the... Ooh, not good with the cops showing up here. So I'm going to run a little bit ahead. Yeah, you kind of have a wanted level on this mission. Is Colin Roman for an activity okay here? Yeah, uh, that's... What... Ooh, weird bounce there. That's what gets rid of the, uh, the end of the mission call. So you can call Dimitri sooner. Well, yeah, but... Doesn't it, like, call in precisely for an activity? Uh, I never had an issue with it, so... Okay.
Yeah, this is a this is a great mission. Like, it really shows how good of a GTA 4 speedrun we are. Like, like a, a lot of things to memorize here. The the patterns are pretty much the same all the time. But like, there's a lot of stuff going on. So if, if you're a new run, it will take you some time to learn how to do it. I still don't know how to do it. Okay. Yeah, All right, this, uh, this right here, I, I have to wait here because this, this if I drove at full speed through here, this cop, you can see, like, I could I can see the road, so the cop would have spotted me again. Ooh, ooh, man. Weird bounce. Weird, weird, weird bounce there. Had... Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that would have been really terrible. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh. oh. This is not good. <laughs> that is very bad. <laughs> it would have been terrible. Hey, he always camps here. Can you get in? Uh, he's not. He's not getting in. All right. I don't know what just happened there, but he didn't. He didn't want to get in. <laughs> okay. He just like ran around for a little bit, and then the taxi finally pulled away. I think I was still actually locked on the cop car, which is weird. But not really rare for this game. After this mission ends, Kyle can wait for a tutorial text, well, some kind of, yeah, you can call Roman, and then start uh, Roman Sorrow himself. The last uh, Broker Duke's mission. Well, if you really, like, divide this game by segments. We're going to use a placebo here to show off what a placebo is, and everyone's going to get upset about using the word placebo. Yeah, this is the legendary placebo head for Roman Sorrow. It's supposed to. It worked. You... It worked. As you can see, it worked. So uh, don't. <laughs> it's real. This strategy has been. This strategy has been confirmed. Real. Oh, he's doing a weird. He's he's running around like a clown. Oh, hit Roman. I mean. Yeah. If the cap goes straight here, it's really optimal. It just like follows you pretty much. Don't have to run back to it. Oh, nice, nice taxi right here. Saves about a half a second, maybe we can we can say. Hey. Yeah, something <laughs> around there. Set up here. You don't because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. All right, Kyle, time to flex with your Roman sorrow time. Uh, it's gonna be like a forty-six fifty-two, I think. Forty-six fifty-two. It's like, okay, it's for forty-five loadless. Uh -huh. We're going to say. As I finish, I'm going home to blow some heads and beat up the coochie. If you want to see the Robot Sorrow World Record run, you can check it out on GTA Meme Leaderboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There, Robot Sorrow is not the percent. Or is it? No. Well, technically. Uh, no. It's not like saying when you refer to most wanted as most wanted percent, you're kind of accurate there with that description because when you finish the most wanted category, you are getting a percentage point. So, uh, and the only you know for the uh, for for that run to count, you have to be awarded the most wanted percentage point. Though you're, you're not allowed to just get that without killing the targets. If there was a way to, you know, like skipping all of the kills and just being a, rewarded it with like some sort of insta pass or, I don't know, something like that. You know, when I was Roman Sar, though, no, because sure. you. I found it too car no, we won't. Even, nobody calls most wanted most wanted percent. <laughs> so, some people yeah. do. Some, so, people. some people do, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, this I'm gonna lose the time. Yeah, might look like a complete auto scroller, but Kyle can actually mani manipulate things here. He can limit FPS to make the uh, the light cycle go faster. If you, if you limit to twenty five, they're just like as fast as possible. Uh, very useful when it's red light and you have to wait. If you limit, uh, it switches to green earlier. The other thing Kyle can do here, if 
uh, well, if it's optimal, he won't have to do that. But things happen. Yeah, the car can, the cars can get in front of the vehicle you follow. And if this happens, you can try to push the cars out of the out of the way. It's quite tricky to do it with the taxi, but yeah, Kyle definitely can do it if, if he has an opportunity. But it, it looks uh, it looks perfectly fine so far. There is an SUV up here which will stop because I think it's just now turning red. Oh yeah. I see. All right, let's see this strategy here. Yeah, it's important to get them like completely out of the way, or it can, the, like the vehicle you follow can, can can just get stuck behind. Like it cannot really drive around uh, the the stuck traffic or pedestrians or whatever. Yeah, this should be good. I could even maybe be uh, he got he stopped at that light back there I think or turned so I could have maybe tried to push that uh, SUV all the way up here maybe in a perfect world it would have, I could have used it to push him through this light or that or this light <laughs> but yeah, it's not really I I've, I've gone for that many times and it's just they, what happens is they they slam on their brakes and then get out and it's really just almost impossible Looks like he's about to stop yo yeah and just block the road him, Guy disappeared. Oh, there's a strategy for this mission discovered by Leon Salad. You can go out of bounds here and shoot the guy that's hiding behind the the boxes all the time. Is it is it faster? Uh, I I don't think it's very RTA viable. Not sure what the reason is. I got a uh, police car here instead of a uh, taxi, so. There might be. It might have been taken over by the by the police car, or it's waiting over here. Well, that's not good. That's very rare. Hmm. Yeah. As I've been taught, there's always a cab after this mission, so it's really unfortunate that you can't find one. It's really not turning either. I guess I don't really need it. Don't try to be a hero. There's a taxi down there. Um, yeah, this is really unfortunate because... Uh, you need a taxi here and honestly believe it or not it you you almost always get a taxi there so i don't yeah don't really know what to usually if you don't see the taxi in front of you there it's because it's around the back and you go around after you know looking up the hill there and all of that and you you find one um anyway that's uh just not weird very weird Yeah, Kyle is also supposed to get texts here. So if he got really unlucky, he could have gotten a, a useless call instead of that text. But luckily that didn't happen. Oh, I got stuck because of high FPS and I couldn't grab the door, which is uh, really unfortunate. Man. Oh, big, big strategy, big mission coming up. Uh, this is also <laughs> really unfortunate that I... This is all timed in... Oh, real pain in the ass here because of all the unfortunate things happening. Uh, one thing leads to another. Yeah, yeah, if Kyle got into the cab immediately, he could have cancelled that call with no problem. But he just had to wait. Because uh, the cab driver drove away. All right, so this mission, if you do it casually, it has like a 20-second, something around that, a waiting sequence uh, where Paki is like talking to the guys he's having, he's trying to make a deal with. But Kyle here is going to perform a strategy which skips that uh, waiting period and immediately triggers the shootout. Just press the one key. <laughs> Rolled. Um... 
I don't know what I would do there. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this works almost always if you're if you've practiced it. Um, if you haven't, it can go wrong, of course. Yeah, there's one downside to this mission. Well, the, the most notable downside of this mission is that Paki has one HP. Uh, if you perform this, so if he gets any kind of damage, he he dies immediately. So you really have to know how to kill these guys fast to avoid that. Yeah, now Kat is going to pick up a knife that's going to be useful in the in the Algolkin segment of the run for a specific mission. Wow, that taxi really uh, didn't slow down as soon as I thought it would there. He even went all the way up there, which is very strange. Hmm. No, it's you're into camping or something. There's a taxi to my right. I wonder where that's going to be after. It doesn't really matter. Probably turning or going straight. Um, I shouldn't have jumped in front of it, but I, the way it looked at the, in the moment, the taxi was kind of like far enough back that I thought I it wouldn't. I think I thought it wouldn't hit me. Oh, that would have been slower probably to grab that. Oh, he went over. Okay, well that's Nico in this game choosing to go to the other side. I've never actually, I've never actually seen him go all the way over there, even though I held it in the same place. This is the crossover mission. That's a little strategy there. If you pause and unpause, you can skip the wait. The wait is for uh, Playboy. So you're firing at that in that area because you you want to you want to get this cop to get out of the car and even like and I have this placebo where um, if I fire at the corners you know the, the seams let's call them between the walls that maybe there's a an impact on like yeah, if the the wants this cop in the apartment is because if you kill the cop in the apartment it doesn't give you an extra wanted stuff. Yeah. yeah. If you go outside and kill him there, then you you'll have a three star wanted level and that of course is way harder to escape. Just gonna hopefully pull him over here, yeah, before I run out, run away from him. All right, so this strategy right here is going to Jacob, selecting his contact card, and picking job, hanging up right after you've selected job. And this is to remove a um, end of mission call, which the end of mission. Uh, most missions have a call after ten seconds that comes in ten seconds after you. Finish the mission. It's just to tell like the contact for the mission what happened, you know, something like that for the story. Um, okay, here we up, Bucko. And uh, by selecting job or an activity, uh, you, friend uh, contact cards. Let's call the contacts in your phone have have uh, either a, a single job option if they their activities haven't been unlocked yet or they, it, you'll have only activities and a job option. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter. If you pick one of those, either job or an activity, you will, uh, and then hang up, you'll and cancel the end of mission call. And ideally, you want to pick the job option because there's some weird thing that can happen with activities where following picking the activity and hanging up, like 
then after the next mission is complete, you'll like start the activity immediately. Which is very, very weird, but now it's where you wanna go. Yeah, design up with the calls is really risky. That's a lot of uh, talk. I think it's mainly just to make people you can believe everything I just said. <laughs> it's all simple. Oh, I believe now Kyle is going to showcase uh, are, F man. FPS limiting to gain an advantage in uh, vehicle driving. It's like a very uh, a horn of a, a corner with very hard braking that you need to do in this mission, and if you limit your FPS. Uh, it will make things easier for you. Oh wait, you can also crash into a car. Do you have parked? Uh, yeah, I'll crash into the car because it should be there. Since I took the other one that I parked there, yeah. but I don't know. Yeah, like I said at the very beginning, um, locking your FPS. The lower your FPS is, the the it will become a little bit easier to turn in vehicles. Which is mainly one of the main reasons why people have such a hard time with motorcycles in this game when on the PC is because uh, they have FPS that's higher than most likely higher than 60. Uh, this is a look back strategy that's necessary to not fail the mission. Uh, if you if you pull too far ahead of the uh, train, you'll you'll fail if you're not looking back at it. Do you have like a can stuck in your bumper or something? What the hell? I don't know. I'm <laughs> not probably paying attention to that. Didn't see it. Well, anyway, just kill three people here. Call Jacob for John. If I get lucky here, I'll get a taxi, but I'm not seeing any. Um, it really is rare to not get a taxi here. I would say. No. Uh, you probably get it. You probably get it around seventy-five percent of the time or more. No, I'm not getting one at all. So. Um, Very, very weird. Uh, oh, <laughs> there's a taxi here. Yeah, this here is, is. The, the worst I've ever seen. Hear that? It's th it's real. There's something going on here today. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Th th this is this is big because there is no run on the leaderboards with this strategy, I believe. So. If you're new to this run, uh, please observe, because this is the hottest new strat, even though it's already a few months old, but there still isn't a run on the leaderboards with it. But it, it saves quite some time. I'm not sure how many, like how much, 10 seconds? Yeah, it's, I don't know, I forget now, it's not a ton, but it's... Just gonna be some sniping positions. Uh, I hope I don't fail. Uh, I've I shouldn't because I did it. I kind of I kind of did the wrong thing in my practice run, and now it's fresh in my mind. So yeah, you want to take a specific path here, so uh, you the, the game doesn't freeze. Which happens on this mission? Oh, the fog is uh. Oh, this Something that doesn't seem to be a problem for you. Yeah, it turns out it wasn't a problem, thankfully. Yeah, like that pause buffer Kyle has just done. Uh, if he didn't do it, the guy wouldn't have spawned. 
actually it's essential for this mission to do this uh, particular particular trick. Now Kyle ends this mission right next to a cab. Doesn't have to run all the way from the construction well, site. Uh, I, I may have to here a little bit. Uh, let's see what I do. No, well, there's like lo loads of them. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they got scared. A little scared there. Yeah. Not really the 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 best way of how this mission could have ended, but it, it still should be faster than the old strategy. Yeah, that's two calls you have to make here. Hmm. I kind of forgot to do one of them in his practice run a week ago. I remember that. Yeah, that's why all of the mistakes fresh in my mind. This is it, the We're here. Yeah, this uh, in this mission instead of uh, like making a photo of these guys and sending them to play, but you can just kill them immediately. Another. Another significant skip, I'd say. Don't really think about it uh, when you do it in a speedrun, but yeah, in, in, in comparison to casual play, it does save quite a lot of time. And if you know which target you're looking for, um, it's, it's designed into the game to be like, uh, you know, they've actually designed it to be an option because if I if you know which target you're looking for with like the whole you know playthrough style of uh, <laughs> completing the game, you only have to kill the target once you've confirmed who it is. So yeah, you know, it's nice that they they have an alternative designed uh, available to you in the game. It's not just one of those you know instant fails if you choose to do it in a realistic way, but not an intended well you know it's realistic to gun down everybody at the at the uh, it's not necessarily realistic because maybe he's not there you know but it's a it's almost to, to that point so we're gonna give it a pass here <laughs> i don't yeah. know it's not entirely realistic but it's nice that we can do that it's good for this because he might not be at the park you know he could have taken the photos and sent them to playboy and playboy would have been like that's not him Nope, that's not him either. That's not him. Nope, that guy's not him either. Uh, I don't know, he's not there, man, but, you know. Yeah, Kyle has just performed this strategy, uh, which uh, allowed him to skip the scripted three star wanted level. Instead, as you can see, he only has two stars, and it allows him to escape the cops right on this island and get a cab immediately. That's because of that grenade he threw at the cops. I'm not sure exactly how it works. It's, it's just a very, I, I don't know, it's something that must, like, skip you, by, by like, causing the cops maybe to react or caught the explosion, um, just skips over something that, you know, bugs the mission. <laughs> I like that. I don't, I've never, it just works. It, it's been something that, it, it's been known about for us so long, and because I guess just somebody who threw, I think I, I don't know if it was me. I think it was me who discovered it. I, maybe, but I threw a grenade when practicing, and I noticed something weird happened. And that's how I—that's how I remember it. <laughs> Is this one? I can't get that. Yeah, I gotta go. It's their time of day impacts when you can get certain text messages, and I can't get this one. Or certain phone calls, or no, the text message. Yeah, the text. Yeah. Yet another big skip here. The mission tells you to drive this car all the way to Duke's. But instead of uh, taking this car to like a doctor or something, you could just blow it up and destroy all the evidence. And uh, destroy yourself in the process, which will pass the time. And that is very convenient because now all the complicated phone management st stuff starts. And you need to pass some time to unlock certain calls and messages.
Which suit? As I wait for this text. <laughs> wait for the suit. Wait, vote for the suit. Pick this one. Yeah, here Kyle needs to get one text and two calls. And apart from all that, he also needs to get a cab with a passenger. I luckily uh, found one right away, and the, and he luckily just got out and let the passenger stay, which is what should happen. But you never know what will happen. Some weird things. If you if you get a cab with a passenger and drive it to the the next mission's marker, it will respawn with the driver in it. So you don't have to drive all the way from this pier to to the road to get another cab. It'll just be there. Stand still. Standing still. But this strategy, of course, can be very annoying because if you get the wanted level, you cannot get uh, phone calls and you need two of them. But uh, luckily, uh, Kyle got a very good cab there and there were no cops around. So he just has to wait now. Oh, I did touch her there. No, yeah, sometimes there can be a cop here in this very tight area. <laughs> it's like the most unfortunate thing that can happen. All right. So because I have the, did you explain this? I, I'm sorry. You know, I, you know what? Uh, if you have a passenger and you touch the marker yeah, yeah. while the passenger, yeah, you explained it. All right, all right. I was just too focused. So. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm here for, I guess. Probably would have been explaining it now, so. <laughs> that's hope. true, yeah. Maybe. Well, you can explain the next strategy. Right there, hailing a cab? Or this one? No, the hail, no, 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 the hail no, didn't no. work. Um, yeah, this strategy, again, it's like built into the game. If you, if you don't believe that this is actually an option uh, and not just a weird bug, uh, you can go to the wiki, you can go over to the GTA wiki pages and read about it. Yeah, Kyle, like, aggros this guy, so he starts following him. And the reason why Kyle needs this guy to follow him is the, the, black, my, the, the black melon. Is so he can get into the water, and uh, the USB device he has gets destroyed in the water. And uh, if it does get destroyed in the water, you don't have to deliver it back to Francis. And if you don't have to deliver it back to Francis, you don't get a wanted level. So there's like two skips and one by, by performing this strategy. You don't get a wanted level and you don't have to bring the device back. Yeah, now Kyle has to wait for a call, cap to the marker and wait for his ex. I'm going to be safe here and uh, guarantee that I get this text instead of accidentally blocking it by hailing it the wrong time since I was a little bit behind. Yeah, hailing is one of the things you can block uh, the text or calls with. Have to be really careful with okay. phone management. Yeah, now Kyle is going to do two things at once. Like, the purpose of this mission is to uh, uh, arrange an interview, but he's also going to arrange a date, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need a call. We're going to uh, San Jacinto Avenue. Thanks a lot. Yeah, now there are like quite a lot of things that uh, Kyle has to keep in mind. Where to? Uh, like there's the lawyer's call, the date, like the the, <laughs> the three leaf clover starting time. Like so so many things that you have to 
keep track of uh, this part of the run. It's all, of course, related to time of day. And uh, the time it takes you to pass uh, certain missions. Okay, I screwed up getting it. I don't know if it was because all the dates already available or not. I, it has been, it's been a while since I was a little behind and at this point, so... Oh, yeah, you were supposed to get... The yeah, the lawyer's call is almost 100% consistent there, so... Doesn't really matter, but... Uh... Yeah, here you have to read the first message in the in the inbox to get the location of the guy. You cannot just cap there, unfortunately. But yeah, here's an, another example of a quick kill that skips a very long chase to the mountain. So I'm going to call Jacob and start the job. And then right as I'm getting up to the corner here, I'm going to cancel the job. That is to avoid getting a Jacob activity call later. Yeah, this, uh, like, wrong is right. The being a mission, it like despawns the traffic in the area, uh, and it reduces the possibility of getting cops. So Cal can just shoot uh, French Tom with a gun instead of going for a more safe <laughs> catch of bottle threat or mustard, depends on which side you are. Where I'm great, thanks. I don't want to block this call again. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take the little bit of time lost here since things are thrown off and not be at the marker. It should be. Yeah, the, the call Kyle's waiting for is unique because it's a two part call. Yeah, there it is. You receive a call and then Nico calls Francis. Because I waited though an extra bit of time, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to end up getting uh, Barusi's text after this mission instead of. Uh... Let me think about that. Maybe I won't. Uh, yeah. Good as gold. That's great. Yeah, instead of searching for the contact with the police car, you can just cab to the place where he hangs out and kill everyone. Great mission. So the time is, I think I want it to be like around 16. I'm just going to cab to the uh, clothing store here first. Um, this is because this, this is the past time. Yeah. yeah you, did you explain this already? <laughs> uh, not sure. I think I started it. I'm, I'm sure if I finished it. So yeah, Kyle needs to pass time. Uh, so he caps to different locations and because he has like the interview upcoming uh, it makes the uh, him traveling around the map passes passes in game time but once the interview is over uh, this this <laughs> this will stop being a thing it's like some kind of an exclusive mechanic I guess yeah, as long, if you have something scheduled that in the marker for that what that activity hasn't appeared, well, that was a weird, weird move right there. Um, if you have something scheduled and the marker hasn't appeared for it on the map, like the interview would have a tie marker up here, the date has a, a heart up here. Um, if it, you could have multiple things scheduled, and as if one of those things has appeared on the map, you no longer will pass time when you taxi, and if if neither let's say I had the interview and the date scheduled but neither marker had appeared on the map yet um 
then if I'm taxiing, it's passing time. Uh, that is realistic to like the amount of time that would take that it would take. I guess it is kind of real. Like it, it increases depending on how far you travel. So if you travel just down the street a little bit, it's going to be. It, it, usually it's about five minutes. I think maybe there's a minimum that it can pass at at any time, which is five or three maybe. Um, other tra distances like from where I was at the end of the shootout all the way down to the southern part of Algonquin, uh, it, and it even considers you know. Basically, it, it's kind of like how long the how how long that line is that is appearing between you and your destination for your GPS route. The longer the GPS route line, like the more time will pass. So it does actually. It's not like a you know birds. Uh, like it's not like it's not like uh, as they say in Nebraska out there in the cornfields, the a crow's fly or, or something like that. Ask Mafia, and I don't know. Um, It doesn't take into consideration the distance the crow flies, it considers the, the GPS line. Yeah, one, one might say that it's quite realistic. Yeah, you don't have to kill everyone in this mission. As long as you don't die, you can just take the truck and get to the final destination. Oh, was it the first, like, combat roll on the run? No, I combat rolled on the stairs accidentally. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you jump from, like, a certain height, which is not too high and not too low, instead of Nico having, like, the fallen animation, uh, you can perform a combat roll so he lands perfectly on his feet and you don't waste any time waiting for him to stand up. It was actually ideal to, uh, in the end, I didn't set the vehicle density to one, but I used that taxi at the end. It was uh, nice to have that. This thing is like really, really screwed up here. Oh, <gasps> wow, it doesn't have a door either. Amazing. Yeah, I've never seen be this before, like having a random cab without a door. It's insane. This is the one I slammed into. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. All right, I'm going to hail. I could get I could get a Jacob activity call, so it's ideal to kind of like wait it out here a little bit longer cuz you know if you know the timers for the calls, you know you're not going to get it any earlier than like right about now. So If you, if you hail like around the 30 second mark, there's a chance the game was just about to hand you an activity call and uh, you would you would block it. So little little things to consider like that. This is one of the three Mallory calls you have to receive right, at, this part, at this part of the game. Oh my God. I almost, I just got stuck with high FPS, <laughs> okay, and I'm almost screwed up this. Alright, this is all, all fine. Yeah, this game is fair to everyone. You can see Kyle struggling with his HP gaming rig. Just to drive here, um, and as yeah, long as you keep moving, you will. Uh, car is bouncing around a whole lot. This is very. You do need to keep driving at, at at top speed here and stay on the correct route, or this thing will slow down. So you're pushing it along here, sort of. Yeah. yeah. Nice. 
Now this is not an advertisement for HP gaming rigs because it gave Kylo a disadvantage here. This is like an anti ad. To curse those HP gaming rigs, they've I you know, you have problems with, with a bad PC and you have a pro you have problems with a good PC. Yeah. Have to be somewhere in the middle. Ever since I got my HP gaming rig, I uh, I soft lock on a mission later on. Now that's a big problem. It's it didn't do me any favors. Yeah. Uh, one more thing to remember. Okay, you cannot get too close to this helicopter before it lands, so you fail the mission. It's time to switch over to the controller here and uh, fly away. Um... If, if you if you could keep this helicopter every time, I wonder what would have happened in the past with routes. But this helicopter is taken by two uh, uh, CIA agents or something. I don't know who are they? Are. Yeah, and you so get given it back later on. Wait, there's a strategy coming up that Kyle has already mentioned. In order to block, uh, to block the call and get the text instead, it's going to run to the road uh, while performing what we call here scrolling skill. It's just going to scroll through weapons, and this will guarantee him a text instead of instead of a call and uh, the call you can get here is not needed for the story so you really you really want to avoid it all right that was nice and early uh do i have a nice taxi coming around here this one here i'll take Ooh, the time of day is getting up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, uh, speed up. Even if you- that's another thing that wasn't mentioned. Yeah, did, if you heard, if you caught that at the very end, or as soon as I came out, got the end, uh, fading in, the taxi driver was saying something like, Okay, like that, like kind of a bit of a, bit of an attitude there. Um, you can actually, so, so, going back to when I was talking about, like, how the in-game time is passing, um, with an activity schedule that hasn't yet appeared on the map. Even, so let's say you put the route down from like where I was at the end of that shootout earlier, I set a marker on the clothing store and I taxi. Let's say like that that incre that passes around 35 minutes in game. Um, well, let me not screw this one up here. Oh God. That was a weird one. That was a weird one. I kind of like, uh, Lost control for a second there. Um, so let's say that that passes 35 minutes just by spamming enter, and the taxi warp passes 35 because of that whole like weird system they have in the game that exists. And it is some. It's nice that it exists, but uh, if you tell the taxi driver to speed up because the game, you know, you can press press space, uh, to t and the cab driver will. If you don't skip the drive, the taxi driver will like fly around corners, go through red lights, and you know, every, all all of that. That will actually reduce the amount of time that is skipped, uh, that passes with a warp. If you if you tell him to speed up and then warp, you'll only pass around like 25 in-game minutes. It's, it's very interesting how this works, but that's how it, that's how it goes. And it actually is important to utilize that at times. Like if you're if you're a little bit behind in your run and you know the in-game time is a little off. Uh, a little too far in the future, you're gonna want to at times 
tell the taxi driver to speed up. So you basically press enter, he begins to move and you press space or you kind of like want to spam space to guarantee that it's going to go through. Um, and then you spam enter to skip. So that rat, when I, I just did that from the airport to Packy's uh, mom's house. And instead of passing maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes, it probably only passed six or something, which every, every minute counts when you're a little bit behind. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm pretty, <laughs> this is, this is, I'm actually a lot further behind than I thought. So it, it's going to have, this means I'm going to have to do the interview after the death uh, and just eat the little bit of time saved that. that was beautiful. We did oh yeah, you usually do like Poland nights? After the death you normally just do hostile negotiation. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, on. you have. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do the interview. It's not a big deal, but uh, you have to you have to change your route on the fly. Sometimes. Yeah, crucial skill for GTA 4 runs. Wait about up to this point here. Call Tacky. And then I'm calling Kate, and this is too... I just am a little too early, uh, a little too soon. So, you want to wait until you hear that sound right there. God, I'm messing up here. Uh, call Kate again, cancel right there. At that point, you want to cancel the call to cancel the date. And uh, that is to... That is to prevent a Kate text message or... Wait, what is it again? I forget. It's one of these weird... Activity you know, one, call. An activity call. Yeah, that's right. You know, you forget about what it does after so much, so long doing it. <laughs> you just know you do it. Hey, where you going, man? Well, you, you did uh, receive it anyway. Sorry, man. This is uh, awesome. During your last few runs, if I remember correctly. Later on, yeah, there's some unknowns as to like what exactly should be done at the very end. Sometimes mm -hmm. you don't get it, sometimes you do. There should be a Ray. There should be a Ray call coming in. Some say the, this is the best part of the run. Look, I'm probably going to skip it. But, but maybe you'll get the line anyway. No, I didn't get it. Oh. Yeah, if, if you spam uh, answer very quickly, you can, you can like get the cutscene dialogue playing as Nico runs to the, to the receptionist. Yeah, here is the knife Kyle picked up on uh, after she is what the name of the mission uh, what's the name? Uh, Lock of the uh, Irish. Lock of the Irish, yeah. 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 Where a knife is the only weapon that doesn't give you wanted level on this mission. Anything else you use will result in like a cutscene of the receptionist running into the office screaming, giving you wanted level. The reason for the doing it, uh, doing this mission before the interview is so that you can get the, um, the text message uh, after 30 seconds have passed and then just go right into the uh, next Francis mission. All right, this is going to be a crazy shootout. Let's see. All right, so... Yeah, one of the best ones. Kyle is going to utilize the explosive barrels here. To the full potential. They already blew up this one up here, which is odd. Yeah. I think there's another guy right here. Oh, he's a shotgun. I, he's usually dead because uh, 
I'm gonna grab some ammo as well. Um, he's, that guy's usually, usually dead because uh, the explosive barrel up there doesn't blow up until you shoot it. Somebody shot it, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure if you blow up more explosive barrels than you kill people in this mission. With, with your gun, I mean. Oh wow, Kyle. Apparently there's evidence of FPS jumping all the way up to 251 FPS. I think this run won't be valid if it's a world record. I don't think this will be a world record. <laughs> I don't think that's <laughs> happening, but... Oh god, okay, well, I got out, warped out, and he hit me still. Yeah, the route Kyle is using for... Uh, for this segment of the run, and even the uh, the later ones, uh, relies on him being very quick. So if anything goes oh, uh, goes wrong earlier on, it uh, really takes a big hit on the on the whole on the whole route and the run subsequently. So yeah. It's going to make things a bit harder. Yeah, uh, everything is not. I don't know. We'll see. It's it shouldn't be a huge problem. I mean, the biggest problem would be if I fail this uh, strat that's coming up next here. Over and oh god, stuck on the tree. Nice. Oh yeah, this is a the poisonous knife. If you shoot this guy with the sniper rifle from far away, you don't get a wanted level. Well, GTA 4 mod races will have to take a close look at this run and see if 251 FPS incident wasn't was intentional or not. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What if I get a world record? Now? Oh, nah, this really isn't good. They're going to reject my run, I know it. Yeah, what, if, what even is the point of continuing at this point? Who's up next? Kaz. LCS. Yeah. Kaz has a uni for another two hours, so you're on your own, <laughs> I'm afraid. Give me his give me the professor's number. <laughs> I, I wanna talk to the manager. <laughs> Better be careful with these abbreviations, you know, the, it abbreviates these missions and <laughs> these split names because it pushes too far over. With the, uh, I, I'm, you're not seeing it on stream, but I just realized. I'm not gonna say, but you know, you could end up with a with something uh, a little inappropriate appearing on your splits if you uh, aren't careful. If you if, when it when you know you know that thing that live split has for abbreviating uh, split names. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure what could be inappropriate, but I'm just I just thought about it. I don't know what, where my brain went. Okay, well, this is the big one, the dupe in GTA 4. Uh, yeah, I mean, Kyle has been doing it for like over a year already, so it's not really that new. But in comparison to most of the other strategies, it is uh, a bit implemented into the speedrun quite uh, not that long time ago. But it's been known for a while. This is going to be interesting because I need to make sure he gets into... Alright, let me think about what I'm doing first of all here. Uh, this is the only option. He's getting in. Alright, good. 
the other taxi or uh, police car was pretty close. So I was a little concerned there. You can't get into the one that uh, you were in. It's locked. All of the doors are permanently locked because of this uh, glitch here. So, and it, but, but it's sitting there still. Unless it despawned, which I, I didn't look back to see. Alright. Um, I suppose you could link... Somebody could link to the thread in, on the on the speedrun forums uh, about this 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 glitch. If anyone's really interested in really reading into it, I mean everything that is you know everything uh, there is to know about it isn't necessarily there. Oh God! Ooh, uh, I, I went a little further than I wanted to. Well, at least you're not in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, plus 420 on the splits. I shouldn't have told anybody that, Ooh, but I had to. It was, it's the, it's, the, it, it, I just had to say it. <laughs> this, this is not good. Wow, I, I cannot believe you, there, you just made that joke. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, I heard they were going to legalize weed yesterday in the <laughs> It's true. It's I have heard something about this. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Believe it or not. We we don't judge here. You know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Roman's call. Um, eh, fuck it. You know what? I'm just going. I'm going. I'll get it later. He knocked him over. That's not good. Derek actually died from the pole falling on him. What? No, wait a second. What's happening here? Derek died from that pole falling on him. I, I can't believe what just happened. Pole hog. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe my eyes right now. I, I can't, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say anymore. Okay, all right. His brother bought it. I could have aimed at that taxi driver to get cause him to, you know, stop his car and maybe back up or get out. But I, I didn't. I looked at him and just skipped it. <laughs> Can you believe that? Fuck it, the pole <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever seen I don't think anybody's ever seen something like this happening. <laughs> I thought he was gonna get up too. He was like he's such a junkie. I gotta be really careful here. Oh well, let's just move on from this incident. Packy might have just been Packy might have just died. Oh god. You, they can actually die in that cutscene. <laughs> Cannot believe it. Shoot Packy here to skip uh, skip his dialogue. Call Brucey to, and then we're gonna turn around and shoot Luis so we can skip T Lad or T Bog. T Bog. T Bog. T Bog. Wow, nice glitch. Just bugged out. Yeah, unfortunately, Kyle didn't get busted, so that <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh God, my Nico percent run is ruined.
you do want to make sure these, these guys don't get stuck uh, along this. There, he's he's stuck. Now, if I if I hadn't noticed that, he'd be up there standing there, stuck on the wall the entire time. Yeah, that's a high FPS issue once again. He actually did get stuck a bit, uh, even though I was trying to, like, lock and unlock at times to help him out. Yeah, because he was still up there on the stairs, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, a few guys did spawn here, uh, immune to headshots for quite some time. You just wait until they approach you. Then you can shoot them dead. It's a nice tease for the viewers. Yeah, I just wanted to get some hearts racing again. <laughs> earlier we had one moment early on, now halfway through. Yeah, this mission isn't very entertaining in the speedrun. You do want to lock here because, well, because you, you, they can get stuck down here with high FPS as well. Like, it's one of the biggest problems with high FPS is, uh, these things that you may not have had if, you, if you're upgrading your PC over time. Um, you may not be experiencing any stucks, any, any characters getting stuck, and then you get higher... And you could limit it. You know, I could have my, my lock at 144 or something uh, instead of 250, but I don't know. Maybe I will. There, there are some downsides to that as well. It's kind of hard to get into that right now. But. It's complicated. Yeah, here Kyle can shoot a, a person to move the circle, pretty much like on easy fire. They were too close yeah. to me, it didn't, didn't move. Yeah, if you, if you shoot too. Uh, well, just like on easy fire, if you do this too, uh, it doesn't work. There's usually a cab here, like 99% of the time. Get in, he's not doing anything, just hanging out. Well, he left some evidence. His mask? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. DNA on that. I do have to get... So I do have to remember that I need Roman's call still. Because uh, what I had in its place is the text message from Packy about the suit. Or Brucey to get a suit? Or Packy, yeah, Packy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So, like, that mission, three leaf clover unlocks plenty of calls. One of them, you can make it yourself. And uh, one of them you're supposed to receive, which I will do probably after this mission. I'm not sure how it all works out. Yeah, it's just an. I'll just have to wait. I do need to get, you know, uh, Dimitri's call before meltdown, or the timing will be off later. So. Yeah, yeah. Kind of want to get a jump in there to pass over the spot where. So you drop this here after in uh, intimidating him. Uh, by aiming the grenade reticle on, you know, you aim that at him and uh, he reacts, then you drop it, and as he's talking to tell you where to go, you uh, make your way into the apartment, so it saves a little bit of time. Because you do have to intimidate him in order to skip a, like, shootout here. Alright, do you think I'll screw this up? Nah, no way. It's easy, man. I just want to get him out of the way. Ooh, he's not... I'm in a weird place here. Oh. There we go. I got it. I don't know. You sometimes just jump and you're just like, how am I not in the right place? Luckily, he didn't jump over the rail. Yeah, th there's an easy reference for this jump when camera switches. 
Yeah, and I saw it switch. It's still, I must have just been moving a little when I stopped or something. Yeah, yeah. It's Weird. Like, That's what will throw you off the edge, though. So it's a little bit of a risky strategy. Stratagem. Oh, I, I reloaded like a clown at the wrong time, you know, so I had to do like spend a little time aiming back at that guy instead of just firing right at him. Well, that was a very convenient time to wait for a call or a text. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh, since I'm going to hang out here and just wait uh, for... A call. I need to get more than one here. So let me think. So if I get if I get uh, let's say an activity call next, I will wait for two more calls. If I get Roman's call or Jerry's call first, probably Jerry here. That's Jerry. Um, normally I'd start the mission. Now what could happen after the, right now is uh, Roman's call following hostile negotiation or if somebody's activity call might come in and uh, it is actually really important to actually to get to get Roman's call here because that, there's a timer that has to run out before Dimitri's call becomes available and I think it's actually longer than what the wait is you know so you want to pass that time in a mission you probably could have gone for Molotovs at this point. I also should just be going to the mission, but I've uh, sort of like... Let me, let me just go anywhere here. I, I kind of stopped and started to talk about it rather than doing what I should be doing. Uh, anyway, not a big problem, but I'm going to go now. The call probably was, is about to come in. Here it is. Yeah, so th there's the call. It's all good. Anyway, I didn't lose any time, really. Maybe a second or so because of, you know, fade-outs and stuff like that. But uh, better to explain, right, than save time. Yeah, true. <laughs> sure. But you have a tight estimate, so... I, you know, that's what I say about that. The estimate, as long as, I, as long as I beat it or come within, like, you know, with plus or minus one minute of it, I think that's uh, what I'm shooting for here. Because then I, then I came close to the estimate and I didn't, like, beat it by... 15 minutes or 12 minutes or even five minutes if i beat it by five minutes it might be it'd be really close to world record so yeah it is usually like more convenient for the event organizers if you go uh, over the estimate than under that's what we tell ourselves that's what yeah, us yeah. runners tell ourselves to feel good about <laughs> Well, most of the people tell 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 it themselves and still go for very high estimates. I'm not judging. You're you're not judging either, right? Yeah. I completely understand. <laughs> I don't like to push myself with estimates like you do. Really, so I'm all over that that kind of people. I believe going into every marathon run that I might get world record. So, I try my hardest. Maybe I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, it did look like you were trying your hardest, but you were just walking around. <laughs> well, that's actually, not, I mean, at that point, it being so off, it, waiting around is, is needed. You have to do that wait. Believe it or not. Oh, well. Yeah, this mission is uh, kind of difficult and very skill-based. Uh, you you really have to aim for the corners quite precisely and uh, manage your speed. Because if you drop too much speed, uh, it, it, it takes ages for the trash truck to accelerate back to it. So yeah, driving is very, very important here. Yeah. And also, like, the, the parking as well. You, you, you want to be as, as close to the guys as possible. The guys, of course, being two nine <laughs> spas. Great names. Impossible to forget. Oh, I bumped into that. It, it managed to slow down a little. Oh, yeah. 
that, that, that's like the kind of thing you, you'd like to avoid. Because, yeah, as you can see here, it, it really takes a lot of time for, for it to accelerate. Oh, like, yeah, game speed. That one didn't really slow down too much. It was okay. And this one went really well here. Oh, never mind. I can't believe that just happened. Oh god. I'm actually not hitting it, but I'm stuck on it still, because I could- I saw it move after one, like, millisecond passed there, and then it just, like, stopped again. Alright, well, that was all weird. Whatever. This mission, if- if, if you're not thinking about it, if you're kind of just half-assing it, it goes poorly. It, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you kind of, like, lose your... ...sense of, uh, speed there. Ooh, uh, taxi over here. Taxi over here as well, I'll take this one. And there's another thing you want to make sure... You, oh, okay. Uh, he just started to pull away as soon as I went for the door. You want to make sure you get in on the driver's side uh, when doing the, these, or you risk being thrown out of the taxi here into the mission marker. Great design. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know. You're supposed to wait for calls here. So you, you'd really want to avoid... Starting the mission. Early. That's a late. That's a late Roman activity call there. So be it. Just wait again because we have to. There's very. There are very important like points in this run where you have to get certain calls. It's planned that way. Um, if if there have been some mistakes earlier, there will be put to, most likely some problems later, and it's just how it goes in this run. You have to keep everything on the rails, or it goes or it will almost permanently be off the rails. Sets not necessarily, it's not that extreme. But uh, because Romans, you can get an activity call anywhere between like 28 seconds and 45 ish. See, there's the entry oh, call. Oh, yeah, that's the call I was waiting for. That comes down to the cycles, you know. I'm wasting cycles as, as they yell out in the game. <laughs> Yeah. I think that I think that was uh, a little little Easter egg from the developers, believe it or not. You know, we put that one at the bottom, at way down at the bottom of the uh, the GTA 4 speedrunning iceberg, if you know what I'm talking. But, I mean, that, that sounds like a bit of a stretch. I'm not sure That's where those go. That's where those go down there at the very bottom. Okay. Who's making that? Just that was a bit of a joke. Bit of, more than a joke. More than a bit. I thought he blew up and died. Did you hear that? Like the sound cut out? If you're paying attention, <laughs> like that's usually oh, what happens when it's about to give you a mission fail text. <laughs> I thought somehow this car never saw that happen before. Well, it was gonna happen. If, if I listen to the game audio, I'll hear myself and you twice. So I can't do that. Yeah, I'm sure whatever that line is. What does that guy mean? I'm wasting cycles. What? I, I, what does that mean? I've never thought, actually thought about what his line means. Well, uh, cycle, I guess, is like a taxi fare. I assume that's what it is. I thought it's the guy who's like a runner, though. Isn't it the guy who's like looks like he's jogging around? Or no, I think it's a, it's, it's a cab driver. Is it? The, is it actually? If you sit in the like at the back of the cab without cabin anywhere, he's going to say that he's wasting cycles eventually. Oh, I see. Hmm. I don't know why I thought it was somebody else. Just hear the line, and I don't pay attention to who's saying it. But I thought one day I saw the guy standing there saying it next to me, on the sidewalk. Well, maybe taxi driver is not the only one who's saying it. Usually these lines are unique to like one NPC though, it's, you know. Sure. Yeah, here you can manipulate uh, the toilet where Lucas spawns. There he is, dead. Shot him in the left eye. I thought, was it in the right eye? <laughs> no, uh, to his left. Okay. Wasn't it on his left that I fired? To, you know, to the right? I aimed to the right? I'm not sure now. Uh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think anybody would question me. Oh yeah. My yeah. God. Oh my god, now I, I have to be on my toes for like... Uh, you You sure that was can, the left eye? confirm <laughs> an official action replay, it was indeed his left. <laughs> oh god, thank god. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh <laughs> my god, I okay. thought I was doomed there. You are <laughs> safe just, just this one time, <laughs> Kyle. Is he stopping for a prostitute? Okay, uh, maybe I just wanted to uh, get hit for the fun of it. 
I, 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 I look. I thought that guy was stopping for a prostitute, and then this guy I saw had a passenger. So I, uh, I don't know. I just hung around trying to like my my loop de loop, my loop loopity 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 loop. <laughs> it took me all over and then right into the front of a car. All right, let's uh. Oh, this is a good one. So can you take me? Is it the hardest mission in the no game? Thank you very the speedrun. Sorry. Uh, I suppose so. It's not a fun mission to deal with. I mean, it can be if it goes well. Let's see. I, I failed the jump the other day. I, I don't know. Like I said, I, yeah. I really feel like I don't have a setup. You know, you would think I do. To like. Like, I, I, I do it, I'm consistent, but I feel like I don't have a setup. I mean, it's hard to say that that's a setup, it's like, you're looking down at it at a certain spot, and you know, like, there are setups that involve the camera, or, like, positioning him, like, against an object or something, you know, but... Even then, it's like... This isn't good, though. This is really bad that I'm, uh, that he's driving away, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, like... Oh god, I could die here. He took forever to grab the door. The, like the cab driver can die in the loading during the loading screen <laughs> as well, so you cannot be sure. Oh, that, you're... that was like a close call, dude! Right there with this tab, oh this police car. <laughs> I couldn't believe he flew wow. up there. He flew, he was flying. This guy. Oh my god! Luckily, you don't get shot at during this mission. <laughs> I didn't see him there, and then I'm, I I did, and that oh god, Here we go. at the last second. I'm like one HP away from death here. Luckily, I'm gonna. Oh, you, you know, technically, technically, this is optimal, it, right? Because you're gonna want to die at the end of the mission, and and you, if you cross that line, you know, well, over, the, over into Algonquin, your if you cross that line, then you're, uh, you could just jump off and the moment he hits the ground, he dies instead of having to wait out the grenade. Unless you time the grenade, grenade perfectly, you know. So. Oh, okay, so you are, so you are going to follow the play. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I think I will. Uh, just okay. for, just for the hell of it. I mean, I, I hope I don't, I could have grabbed that health back there if I wanted to be safe, but I, there's that chance I'd fall off the bike in the tunnel here. And then that'd be really bad. There's another health pack back there. Uh, it's crazy. It's interesting how many health packs they put in like one small area here. Are you all set for another the one? Right. Death walk? Oh, what was that? I are, are you all set for the double death warp? Oh, how the double death warp. Um. Yeah. That's also uh, an up. Oh, there! I just like hit the roof of the subway tunnel. Oh. Uh, nice, nice bounce. Okay. All right, well, um, we'll just restart the mission and see where we're at with all of this right there. Shouldn't have been over there, I guess. I, I, I've never, I, I don't really, like, ever think about where I'm at. Uh, it just kind of, like, works out always, and that's really, that's really strange that it uh, happened. So can you take well, it does happen sometimes, with bad bounds. I think I'm right back to where I was, though, so... Still not. Yeah, 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 it shouldn't be a problem. If you restart the mission in the in the AM time, it uh, brings you back to the exact point that you started previously. Time -wise. The in-game time -wise. I'm pretty sure you can bounce the 10 FPS. I bounced even with high FPS. It, it's... It's probably more likely with lower FPS. Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately we won't see the falling of the bike strategy. Yeah. That's just like interesting. Like I, I normally kind of I don't really think about where I'm at, other than when I need to be like you know, where I kind of need to be based on the trains. 
I do usually stay in the middle, of course, so <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's good to see that happen, to kind of remind me that it, it does happen. So, you can't, you can't let your guard down. I guess I could say I, I let my guard down there. <laughs> Exclamation mark reminder. <laughs> right. The other thing you don't want to do is, like, begin to... You kind of want to stay on this and, and not get close to those, like... Ed, uh, the, the rails, because you can begin to, like, get stuck in them and flip through. Even at high FPS, it can happen. Yeah, this is an example of a bad mission design. You cannot kill this guy until a certain point. Follow him. You know, I actually may not be able to jump off and die, which uh, I'm going to have to do yeah, some old, yeah, just do some old saves. Twice what? Oh, he going? He's going. He's going some weird route here. Um, I want to go let's see. So what I'm going to want to do here, let, let's take a look oh, at the gonna... phone. Yeah, I can't. I can't uh, jump off, and I'd go back in time. So I'm gonna have to save the game. Unfortunately, I actually could go to the pay and spray, which is just nearby. Let me think. So that's nine. That's nine hours. It's it's still not enough for me. I think it has to be like almost right on to for that to work. It has to be like exactly ten. I should have paid attention to when that call was coming in. Well, I guess you'll get to the safe house and sleep. Is that your plan? Yeah, I'm gonna do... Oh, he didn't get in. That's like, honestly, the first time ever that I have... Hailed? Do I normally hail? Is it something I... I thought I'd just do that <laughs> just because, like, my... Are you... I think I do normally hail, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's odd that he managed to back into him before he got in. Everybody's very rude to Nico here. Yeah, Kyle cannot vid walk to the safe house because he needs to be able to start Wicked at Florence. And he cannot start Wicked and Florence from the Algonquin apartment, so he has to go to the Bohan one. Yeah, and he'll need a cab for that. Yeah, if you're on the right path here, you should just like drop off the roof and that will complete the mission if you do it at the right place. And like that warp and pastime. Not only it's fast, it's also, it's also good for you. You also want to go to this this one because if you're going to the uh, Algonquin safe house, you have to leave and drive down the road before uh, yeah. you can call. So this is a bit of time loss, but needed to continue. You're not actually saving the game here. You're um, just pressing F then pressing escape to... Exit the... You're sleeping for six hours, not saving. Yeah, unlike in 3D GTA games, you don't have to actually save to pass time. Yeah, I mean... Everything's very tight with the route that I'm trying to follow. It's like, if anything goes wrong uh it's going to really throw things off but i know what I, I you know you know what you need to do but it will throw things off and waste time yeah for for this uh route to be faster everything has to go right otherwise you have to do like a lot of really slow things like yeah for example go into the bohan apartment and sleeping as you could have seen here
segment to her. Here we are. It's a wrap. I have found Bori Mikredich. There's a man who goes told the Daniel. Oh, you are going for the camera. Yeah, I'll go for it. Just just to uh, throw it off, I guess. Yeah, this is a relatively new strategy as well. Usually people just took the the fixed dilettante spawn. But cabs are faster. So you can like push push the driver door. Well, well just push the near the cab. It will force the driver out and you can take the cab and drive it to the destination. So what what had to happen there? The reason for all the saving is because like so earlier I I had a call from Dimitri and 24 hours has to, you have to pass 24 in-game hours before you can call Ray or get the call from Ray to start this mission. Uh, so everything is like timed. Like you know you know you know when you you have a chance to die. You know if there's a pay and spray involved in a mission. So you're you're just like planning a route like this. So if everything is going well and the time of day is correct, you. Everything just works out, you know. You've died. You jump off the roof. You jump. You jump off or blow yourself up on the uh, the biker mission. Past ten hours, you know. You you're at the point on a rooftop where you can jump off and die again. That's uh, just between those two missions. Missions alone, of twenty hours of time being passed, and uh, there is, you know, the other time that's passed is is spent in the missions. Right clicked accidentally. Uh, I'll take the long way. Thanks for long. I think I hit the window. <laughs> I shot other window. Got you cannot avoid searching for this criminal. Call him Bucky a criminal. Actually, wow, I, I I was like not looking at the road or the where I was, and like I, I felt like that car really turned like on, on a dot. Like it was really, it had it had some really great traction there. <laughs> like I I don't know how I hit that pole. All right, that was very odd. I did not expect to hit the pole. Uh, I'm trying to hold. Usually you're like you're jumping over these. You're going off of these little like hills here, and um, you're having a hard time you know, turning upon landing. Don't really Wait. know what happened. Bucky was in the IRA, wasn't he? So that, that should make him a criminal. This thing didn't move forward. Wow, that, very, very odd. Uh, am I really far ahead or did it just like respawn, spawn at a weird place? I don't know. You know, the runner's brain is being uh, scrambled right now. It's hard to explain. Scrambled brain. Let's tr let's go for the uh, couch strat. Oh, it worked out perfectly, you know. It always works in a marathon. Oh, these spawns are not good. Like this guy's way down here, so it's gonna move. Yeah, Kyle cannot paint spray here because of the time of day. We'll go back in time. So instead, he's going to try to escape the cops while driving to the next mission. Yeah, at this point, getting out of the wanted area, it really doesn't matter if I crash. I just can't be crashing a, a ton. Yeah, yeah, there's also a call that sh shall be received. So I have Packy's activity call. I would have maybe waited here and not, you know, fired. So if it, if it is, if it's the text, you get it at 30. And if it's the activity call and you get lucky, you get it, you know, just before that. So you're not really, you, you can almost guarantee. Is there another activity call that I need still? Like Jacob's not available. Roman's not available. 
well, I have Romans, I have Packy, so like, yeah, and Jacob's not available because of his uh, activity hours. But what I would advise, if you're following this route and everything is going well, there's a text that will always, that text right there comes in at 32 every time. Um, so don't block potential activity calls with a wanted level when, you know, if you get lucky, you get that, you get an activity call before the text. And you kind of see what I mean. It's a good time to maybe get lucky there with a 30 second activity call. I'm sure only some people understand this, <laughs> like that, again, just a bunch of, uh, just, just a bunch of talk, just to fill, fill the air here. There are really not a lot of brothers who can follow this route, like you and Leon, that's basically it. I'm not really following it right now, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I I'm, guess. I'm trying my best to follow it. Okay, like, who can try to follow yeah, this who can, route? who will... I don't know, like, even if you'd follow this and you're... This is kind of like what the beginner's route is, I guess, sort of. When it, there's like a beginner's route that just kind of tells you, you know, you could be told, hey, you, we don't know where you're going to be in the run. We don't know how many times you've died or how, how far back in time in game that you've gone because of all your deaths or whatever. But like, if you do this, if you waste time going and doing this, you know, you can guarantee that you're following the route, I guess, you know, like it, it, it could say in a, on a document. The one thing that it's hard, it's hard to, um, that's why these documents for like beginners, you have to write them, you have to write it as if, the, you know, the runner doesn't know what calls they've already received or texts. And, um, so you can't really like put something in a, in a beginner's guide that says, if you've received the call from Dimitri, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and 24 hours have passed, call Ray now, you know, because they're just going to call Ray. And if it fails, that's why they got a guide has to say, the guide has, to, they may have not even received the call from Dimitri. So it kind of goes like, you have to write a guide, like assuming they haven't received the call from Dimitri. And, and then you kind of say like, you, you write the guide to say, uh, call Dimitri. Or I'm call Ray. If he doesn't answer, save four times. Call call Ray. If he doesn't answer, stand around and wait for a call from Dimitri. <laughs> then, if when you get that call, save four times. Call Ray. And you know, you know, at least that specific call it can't. Dimitri doesn't have like activity hours or something. So you can write a guide like that to guarantee a beginner kind of follows the route. I guess, if you wanted to. But then you can also come up with a route that's more beginner-friendly where there isn't a, a ton of instructions like that. Only when needed. It's very hard to write, write a guide. Like, when somebody wants help on, like, you know, what do I do? Or what should I do in my next run? It's If they've been following the beginner's guide for so long, you really just can't give them anything. Like, you, you, can, you can provide them with the tools they need to learn calls and learn timers and all of that but writing up a, like like having like saying hey here's my splits follow my guide or follow my splits and you'll be fine like it's they'll they'll be they'll be so confused yeah, it's just not it's just impossible to yeah but like if you started with the beginner's guide at some point you just have to dedicate time to learning the calls and the text mm -hmm. because without that you you won't get a decent time you you really have to know what's uh, what's going on here. A little bit of a stunt here, just just stunting here on Robert Fells. Oh, oh crap. Oh, that was Bernie because of the time difference. Oh man, this oh, is not good. Bad. Um Yeah, he was supposed to receive your paper call here. That's for the wedding calls, right? Yeah. Right. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, your paper yeah. call unlocks what hmm. is it called? Oh well. Uh just keep yeah, on going. Just keep going.
like use. consumers demand uh, e perfection. Right. Are they a demanding book. perfection? No, no, no. A book. A book on GTA yeah. 4? <laughs> I don't even remember half of the things that I need to do. Like, oh, he's leaving. Is he really not going to get out? Wow, this guy's actually leaving. Um, oh, oh that, my that's, god. Okay. Yeah, he's supposed to just leave the camp. Oh, <laughs> he's gone, man. I'll just take this one. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's a little bit of loss, but not too much. That guy just got thrown. Yeah, Kyle was going to switch to a different uh, vehicle anyway. In a few seconds. The, the scripted traffic on this mission always spawns the same cars. Well, it spawns always. It's always spawns the same cars plus some random ones. Kind of a mixed kind of mixed traffic. But this tourism spawn is always here. Oh, he's spending time aiming. Oh, this is bad. I. I... Oh, oh, oh. You can actually fail. I, it's it's not as yeah. tight as it may, I made it sound, maybe, but it's uh, if you spend any more time, it's not good. I, I, you know, my, when I saw that pop up on the phone and it said unknown caller, I, I thought for a second there. That's why I knew, like, as I was... I knew it was wrong, like... I just knew something was wrong about it. Because it does say you all paper. You've received you all paper, so it's, I, I know... It doesn't yeah. say unknown caller uh, when UO Paper is calling at this point. Yeah, in like a different kind of look, I used to paint spray during this mission. Which is uh, quite a, a good thing to look at. Interesting yeah, yeah, you can, and depending on the route, like, depending on the pace, at any, you know, if a runner, there are times where, whether the runner knows it or not, they would, it would be ideal to get pay and sprays in during this mission, like, it doesn't make sense how Nico can pay and spray in three hours pass, <laughs> and this guy doesn't move other than maybe a few feet down the road because of fade outs and fade ins, but that's how this mission works, you can go pay and spray and you could pass a Techni I guess you can get in maybe three in total if you're really fast and you haven't moved to, you know. Uh, nine hours back at that pay and spray and up here be before the guy reaches the destination, you could you could get another, um, I think three possibly. 18 hours or anywhere between 12 and 18 hours pass during the mission with that. So yeah. you could utilize that to, you know, for certain call timers. There are people who, a lot of times what happens is they get to this point, they haven't waited for, they may have just received Dimitri's call, the one that I that has a 24-hour timer uh, starting up after, you've, after you hang up that call. And they get the, that call around this point and... Uh, that's a that's a good example of like if they knew if they knew about the timers they could get pay and sprays in during this mission. Am I going to pay and spray though? Let me think here. Um, I do want to. I don't want to pay and spray because then I'll be cutting it close. I could do it after the mission as well, which I, I think I'm going to do it. Um, I think I think I'm going to just. Wait for that call from your paper and then get. Uh, so, how many times do I normally pay and spray? Once, right? Yeah, just one pay and spray. And the other time that passes is uh, just because this mission takes forever. And that that's the amount of time that has to pass to get to run down the timer uh, for the next wedding call. Yeah, forever is quite a lot of time in this game. Wait, what happened here? Is he calling to me? Wait, I didn't press it again. It just began to call. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, I don't know what actually just happened there because I, I know I pressed Jerry first and accidentally didn't scroll down. But then like I went into the phone and it, like it started to call him again or something. I don't know what just happened. Anyway, so how to get this back? How to get it on the rails again would be to wait for the UL paper call and then. 
pass, uh, maybe save the game. That would pass six hours, so then there's a, a real time of uh, real timer of uh, 120 seconds, right? Yeah, it's 120 seconds of real time that have to pass because of the final in game. So just kind of want to wait it out here. Um, A bit too close to comfort. Yeah, Kyle has to cap. Yeah, to the apartments because with Wolf. Uh, Feature is broken because of the paper trail dip. That's like the really big disadvantage of that stratagem. One of the big, uh, one of the biggest reasons why it wasn't implemented earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like. So just passing six hours, which, you know, the the mission takes around six, so that's three, six, six in-game. No, wait. It takes around six minutes. So the that last mission, um, and then, so that's around like three in-game hours passing, and the other three are from the pay and spray that would have occurred during the mission. Where you want to go, now this six just passed... With a, with a, yeah, one sleep, one, one time sleep. Okay, so I have all the activity calls in. They just kind of come in. You, you know when they're going to come in. At, you kind of have an idea when they normally come in, I guess I should say. Oh, I didn't get that jump off. Usually you can get a jump there where you just touch the edge, and then he falls and he doesn't roll, but it's a little hard to do. Yeah, it's a really nice trick. Showcase. I'm going to be locking the frames for a lot of the, the drive here because uh, without that, um, I could have my frames anywhere between, you know, 26, even 20, and 60-ish, um, around 60. And it, it still will slide in Fishtail, even with uh, 60 at times. Yeah, it even slides on 40 sometimes. That is a technique of speeding up on the bike. Technically rocking it with the controller could be, maybe lead to a little bit of an increase in speed, but it's hard to bother with that. It's just dependent on, I guess, exactly where you're doing it. Whoa, that guy got really close. Like, I didn't expect him to be so close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't expect him. I looked at where he was the whole time, and I did not expect that to happen at all. Yeah. Odd. Um... Just keep, you know, heart get your heart racing again here. <laughs> yeah, you have to approach this marker straight on or it won't trigger because you're on the bike. So Alright, I'm gonna go to the Molotovs here. Grab these Molly. Oh yeah, Molotovs for for the for for another big strat. Huge strat, yeah, coming in. If I get Mallory, I should be getting, I don't know, you know, when things get thrown off, you think you, you're you back on track. There's sometimes like a call that you're not, you you get so consistently that it's been thrown off. And then you're saying, I could say something here like, oh, it's like going to be right back on track here for sure after doing it and passing that mission. Uh, two, what did it take? Two minutes for one in-game hour passes. So I'm back on track. We'll see. If I get Mallory's call here, it's, uh, it's fine. And then again, I could. It, no matter what I end up getting here, I could wait again. Right. I might just to make sure that I'm on the correct. Uh... Uh, we have a question in chat. Why 100% saturation? Um, why 100 saturation? Uh, just to make the game more colorful. Yeah. Keep everybody happy. <laughs> 
Yeah, consumers don't like games being gray. They don't like gray games. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, thank you. Some ga some games are gray. And like, oh, what's, a, what's a what's a famous gray game? GTA Four. Uh, what? <laughs> great game. A gray great game. Yeah. <laughs> John Wick action coming up. John Wick, the movie. It's a little gray at times. Wait, I, I clicked. That was odd. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, it worked at least. I don't know what happened there. Some... Never seen before content. Oh, whoops, I forgot about that guy. Where was he? I, I, you don't really see him. That's weird. Yeah. Looked up. Odd. I, I didn't see him at all. Wait, wait, I know this guy's normally here. I thought he, I thought that guy who was on the ground that I was firing at was that guy. <laughs> wait, I'm being really, tr they're really tricking me here. I love the hell. <laughs> this, this is. They're really, they're really trying to trick me during this mission here. I don't. I'm doing the old way. I'm doing, the, I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh oh, he's coming down on his feet. Uh. Okay. Nice landing. All right, worked out. Okay. Uh oh, they're yeah. passing, they're passing. They're oh god, I missed it. Um not good, not good. Shit. Uh Alright, good. It's back. It's all it's actually really good that that works out that worked out in the room. All the doubters. <laughs> so many doubters out there who knew about that coming up. Where did he go? Down the road. Unfortunate. Uh, you don't really have a lot of control over this. Yeah. Audner Avenue. Drive. Nobody knows this city better than me. Forgive me. So we're going to my hash Avenue. Go, Got it. Man. All right. This will. Uh, what you're looking for in this mission after the shootout in the tunnel. Um, look to see, I'll point it out, there's, there's a booth, a toll booth, or a yeah. security checkpoint booth or something. Um, and that could be a cop in there. Mm -hmm. All right. If there's a cop in there when I'm passing by, normally, is you know, it's one of those things that when you're familiar with, like, kind of what to do if the cop spawns. You still most of the time you you don't actually have a lot of problems if you're familiar yeah. with it, but I'm gonna run into the back of this guy just to kind of like slow down and turn. I didn't get the I wanted to hit him a little more on my front left bumper and his back right, but I hit more in the middle. I think it worked out pretty much the way I wanted it to though. Oh, is this the optimal truck for this mission? This yeah, this is a good truck. It's yeah. all right. So this booth right here, this guard, this this cop is always there. At this point, uh, after I finish with the shootout here, we want to see an empty booth. And I'm going to know if it's empty ahead of time because of the marker appearing on the map. It will look like a little solid red and blue dot. Red and blue. You do want to kind of like wait here a little bit because if you go too quickly, um, wait, so he, he didn't fall over in the end, luckily, uh, but it was kind of close. I cut, I cut it a bit close there. All right, so normally the placebo is to look that way and kind of like stay to the left. And it worked out, so, it, so it's a real stratagem as they mark it as a real one. Mark that as a real strategy. All right, so he's not in the booth. You can, if you notice. Um, it's empty. Now I'm able to exit the wanted area a, a lot sooner. I wonder if that has anything to do with that guy spawning. You see that other dot spawning there on yeah. the left? I wonder if that has anything to do with if that guy spawns. I think it's quite rare for him to spawn. Actually, I don't normally see him there. I don't know. 
Never thought about it. Never really noticed that guy spawning there, but I know they do spawn because it's like the port. So they're guarding the port. It's 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 the ferry terminal. Oh, the ferry. Okay, wow. Yeah. Well, I, I see so. you. I see you've done your wiki research. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, hashtag cut content. <laughs> ferry ferry mission or right. ferry activity? You could have taken your your date on in the game. Let's go on the ferry. <laughs> Yeah, it used to be Ferris in this game, but they cut them late in development. Is that true? It is true, yeah. Ferries that you could actually like walk around on as the boat like travels or cutscene. Okay. Uh, That'd be interesting. Watch the video, and it claims that you know the tugboat. Yeah. It's uh, it's originally a ferry. Apparently, it mm -hmm. was originally a ferry. You know, I like, I'm a big advocate of adding things into video games, both MMOs and single player games, which uh, allow the player to like stand on a traveling like Zeppelin, like in World of Warcraft or, you know, like a ship, like, like in WoW as well, uh, both examples from World of Warcraft. But um, I'm, I'm a big advocate of that because I think it's great to be able to just like stand on something and walk around as it travels around the map. It's kind of uh, fun to do. Well, you can't do it in this game, can you? Yeah, you're not even able to like stand on that cable car. It would be nice if you could like, you know, interact, walk around in the cable car instead of having to like, you know, just like watch a cutscene sort of. I think, it, I, you know, allowing the player to kind of inter not watch a scene where the, uh, where the, where you're just kind of like seeing the character standing there on the ship or whatever it is, 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 and allowing you to just run around, maybe bump into NPCs and all of that. I, Makes it a much deeper experience. I think. Fans of World of Warcraft know exactly how how amazing of an experience it is to uh, stand on the Zeppelin or stand on the ships that travel around and just like run around and interact with the uh, the world. Oh, are you going to do the Leon trick? Yeah. This is it. Thanks. Am I? No, oh, no. I don't, I, oh, <laughs> I don't think me. so. I don't think I am. I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way. Okay. <laughs> I've never even practiced that. What is that? Like jumping off and hitting the edge? Yeah, yeah. I, I did it once in my round a bit. Well, <laughs> all worked out perfectly, but I don't want to do it again. And practice such a such a crazy strat. Yeah, insane. Not... Just have to get the right reference from it, I suppose. Why is he calling immediately? That's weird. It's broken. Wait, really? Am I doing something wrong? Why did Why did he call so soon? Normally, it doesn't happen. Um, I, I guess it's because I didn't push. Uh, I got the call and didn't hail, but uh, everything's kind of like I, I'm not so familiar with how like close, you know, tight some of these timers are when things are a little thrown off. Like I just got thrown off there by not waiting it out. I needed to wait a little longer before taxiing, uh, is what needed to happen there. It's not. It's not a big deal. I, you know, it's it is what it is. Yeah, you kill Francis here because it's faster. We're going to visit. Oh, I was supposed to place the marker. Uh, I forgot about. I forgot all about that. Yeah, my splits even say place marker, but I my brain placed the marker at Francis, and I and for a moment there, I just thought I had, I had done exactly what I needed to do. Not not a big yeah. Minor. There are all these little, little, little strategies, you know, like placing a marker here ahead of time, so when you're finished with that last mission, you taxi straight to. What, th this mission hasn't spawned, or no, it has. It has. Yeah. The reason you're placing the marker ahead of time is because um, when you're in the mission, you only complete that mission when you taxi or drive away from the area. So you have to place a marker where uh, Bernie's mission is ahead of time. So it's there and you taxi away from the area. 
and pass that last mission and you're there at Bernie. Th this mission is, um, you follow him here, there isn't, there's no known way to speed this up at all. I mean, pushing him along, people always had the idea. Somebody's going to have it, throw it out. Every now and then you see somebody throw out the idea of, uh, why don't you get him on like the hood of the car and you drive him along, but if you enter the park with a vehicle, you fail the mission. So. Yeah, you can shoot this guy before he escapes. Okay, you don't have to do the dreadful Fagia pursuit. Didn't get lucky with a spawn here. I remember the placebo for this. You go like to this gray line and then you change the DVD. What happened to that? Oh, that is real. I mean, it's a real, it's real. Because I, I did it that way. I remember I looked down and like changed the vehicle. I'm gonna have to, if I had the video to look back at, which I did. Um, I had a, I had a great cab spawn up at the top there. Like, I think it was, what was I doing? Something, something that I was, uh, it happened in one of the like, let's call it like a marathon run or something that we were doing. Uh, and, I had, and I was streaming and it happened during that. I don't remember what it was. It might have been the, uh, what, 13 years of GTA 4 race it happened, I think. This is it. Maybe, I don't know. I was racing, probably. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta actually... Okay, uh, let me... I gotta, I gotta grab the weapons and then, and then do a little, uh, time management here because of the time of day. <laughs> I can't do Undertaker at this point. Um... You cannot start on the take later than 6 p.m. Yeah. Just things are thrown off, of course, like we've been saying. All right, let's... Uh... Later. Uh, you, you missed the hat muffin. And... So... It's gone. It, it's never coming back. This is it. Thanks. Oh, I can actually get it back up or out of commission. That would be quite a commitment. So it's gonna be, it's around 10.30 right now, PM. Uh, it's gonna be around 4.30, and then I have to save one more time. That will actually put me right around where I would normally be after a... Uh... It's usually right around noon. So we just gotta wait here. I mean, it, 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 because of all the time progression and we'll see what this is. Yeah, that's that's the mission. Yeah, I should have placed the marker already, but I didn't. Uh, um, the 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 you want to have a marker placed here so that when you're getting out here, you know, after answering the call, uh, you have to get his call first, of course, before you can. In the wrong place. I know it's that little thing on the ground there. <laughs> um, you have to get his call, then you want to taxi. So this strategy, I haven't practiced this in a while. Let's see if I... Yeah, the strategy for this mission is to blow up the three Albanian cars with the rocket launcher. Like, it's really cool. Nice, it worked out. I, I even felt a little uncomfortable, but, you know, I haven't done it in a while, so... Uh, once, it, once you know it, You'll never forget it, I guess. That's what it shows. <laughs> Just like riding the bike. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a bad spot. Uh, oh, shit. I thought, okay, he's going to move anyway. Oh, the Packy is <laughs> letting him know it's not his fault for hitting that woman. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> Whoops, I had to change this. I wanted... Oh, he... Oh. Oh. Uh, 
I should have changed this earlier. That, I didn't expect that guy to turn as I watched everything happening up ahead. I see I had a clear path, but he turned. Uh, and then he even slowed down, which I had... That was odd. He slowed down despite... It looked like I could make it between him and the van, but... Not sure why he slowed down. It must have been a guy turning on the right. So normally this is how this should go. I mean, you don't hit anybody. You don't... You don't flip... God, everybody's in my... Like, they're in such weird positions here. Oh my god, coffin is right at the edge. You don't you don't normally have to deal with such uh, such nonsense. Not sure. Not sure what's going on here. I mean I I meant to you need to set the vehicle density to one hundred or to one earlier on. Um I left it on. Not thinking. Not my splits saying what I should do. Come on, hard man, get out! Yeah, the car on the left is unlocked, but the car on the right is locked for some reason. He's gonna get out. Okay. My God. Okay. You get back in now. Get in. Prostamos. Uh. It's a pawn shop. You pay your bills, money orders. It says pawn shop. The brown stripe wash and dry. Almost as good as touch and cloth. You're waiting for calls here. It's optimal to get these calls right here. You want to get you don't, you want to get one call. Uh, then get Jerry's. No, I didn't get Jerry's ahead of time, which is odd. Um, Taxi here. There's no reason to taxi ahead of time. You don't want to risk like delaying calls or something. So if you don't need to, if you know you're going to get two calls before you start the next mission, you just wait it out and be and you're safe and you're not losing any time. Um, yeah, now Kyle is basically going to wait for a call before every mission. It should be Jerry because I, Packy's not actually available to text me. There it is. All right, so I'll have to look at the time because normally, you know, if I haven't had Packy received Packy's text at this point, I want to get it after this mission before starting the the next um, the time. Nah, we'll be able to get it. It's one thirty or fifty or something. Will we get rid of the door? Nah, didn't happen. Ah, oh. What the hell? This game is so bright. So you want to call the you want to call her right about now, so that when you hang up, I didn't want to. I should have called her earlier, but I. You want to hang up like right here in passing that first crosswalk. So then this is what happens. This like will fade out uh, and fade in in this scene. If you're if you hang up after you cross the line there, and I, I hit I hit a wall back there, but is it actually faster? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to hang up uh, ahead of time because you have to get closer, I believe. And if you hang up, you know, if you time it, it is faster. We do it this way. Okay. Am I in the right place? Do I remember the correct route? Yeah, this is the okay. I haven't hit anybody yet. You want to also hit two people or run into the wall once and hit somebody or something. Hit a pole, cause the car, cause some damage to the car. I could have scraped that thing back there. Yeah, Gracie has to get like spooked for the final market to activate. Wow, that I could have. I thought he would break through that one, but that one's like one that's higher up. You can see like the base sticking out of the ground. Good old solid pole. It's fourteen forty-five. Thirty seconds have to pass. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way, and uh... No, going that way is better. Oh. 
Okay. I, I don't believe so. I'm, I, I get more consistent cabs this way. It's the opposite for me. I have a lot of cop cars spawning here today. Instead of cabs. Here, here are all the cabs. No, I've had so much. I switched because I had so much, so much trouble. I had to switch. Well, <laughs> that's like the, the reason why I switched from this <laughs> to going through the door because I couldn't get caps here. I'm actually gonna wait for one more call because normally I should have. Uh... Oh no, no, no! That's right. You wanna, you wanna continue on. You don't wanna wait for a call here. Normally you have Packy's call text in. Um... It's all like flashing it through my through my head as things are, as things progressing. That's uh, you normally have Packy's text because I would have if the time was correct I would have waited for it before get calling Gracie. Um. All right, so this uh, you just want to like get off the wall here and do what I'm gonna do uh, to speed this up. Yeah, Go just this way. Us. The enemies, basically. Shoot there. You want to knock everybody over. And then there will be some spamming going on here. Introducing the human jackhammer. Yes, it is. In fact, it's being used. Yeah, this is some kind of a specific movement you want to do here to get to the front of the truck quicker. Oh, he's way closer than I thought he would be. Yeah, this is very fast. What the well, hell? the reason is because with higher FPS, he doesn't. He does, with the higher your FPS, the less likely he is to slide. Uh, that's what, he didn't slide on that first turn, and that's why this happened. Insane. Four. So sometimes your HP rig is uh, get, uh, giving you an advantage, and sometimes I mean it's not really an advantage because Man, it's it's so you don't really save time by doing that. Uh, it's hard to really explain how, how something that would seem like an advantage isn't. But yeah, this sequence is FPS heavily FPS dependent. No wonder you have troubles with it on PS3, if Bale has any frame rate at all. Right. Yeah, there used to be a cool trick <laughs> involved with the Sanchez. But now, the, the call Kyle is supposed to wait for, I believe, has a, like a long cycle, so it doesn't, ha it doesn't have to go fast. I do the cool trick? Oh god. There's no reason, man. The wall. You do this as well. Pretty much Leon style, just flex. Sh show the world you can do it. I fail it. It's not gonna be good. Mm, true. Well, all for the content. Oh, I had a weird bounce. Yeah, the coolest trick still. Just like, let's just say that's what it was. That's it. I did it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was really. That was amazing. Good bounce. Yeah, just like on a half pipe, you know, just doing something a little, little half pipe style trick there. Yeah, it speeds up the the call cycle. See. Yeah, that's what, exactly. I can't believe I got it so early. I normally get it right at this line. But I got it down there. That's it's crazy how doing a trick like that can speed up a phone call timer. <laughs> Makes no Cannot sense, believe but it. it works. Can't believe it. Yeah, this is a nice dialogue during this mission. But Kyle usually skips it to piece everyone. I won't. I, I won't skip it. I'll let everybody hear. <laughs> Oh, that was weird. His his foot was between the edge of that corner and the car, and it actually caused the car to bounce up. Amazing how some tiny 
being paid to look out for me. So say Listen to the dialogue. Be and that's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? <laughs> the battles will fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking hook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got this the is a to our faces before they do it. Skill you based, right? Nice offering, yeah, everything's skill based. True. Uh, remember what what's the line you're supposed to beat during this try that's why you're the boss boss i think that's the one you're not supposed to hear uh, i'll let you know once i get there so yeah will i bounce here no that was smooth I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me. Yep, yep, I beat that line. Amazing how a smooth drive can lead to success. Oh. Oh. Speaking of FPS. He's so the one that's only possible on low FPS. That's what you want to do. Right. You back up. You don't jump against it. You back up to about here, and then you jump at low FPS. It didn't work, so you got to back up again. Jump. There we go. You see that weird, like, he's, like, lower, if you notice that. Also, like, a specific way you can close... close up to these guys, so you don't... Uh, fail the mission. It's an insane. What a strat. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I even pulled that off with the not with the uh, turn. All right, so so let's say this happens to you. Let's say this happens to you in a run. You you're shooting at him, and you hear Nico say, "There you go," and like you didn't get out to pick up the the backpack, the offering. All right, so this is what you're going to want to do here. You don't want to hold enter. Uh, I'm going to go to this one. Yeah. Actually, I'm on the wrong side. I need to go. I need to go around because he's going to. I have to get in on the driver's side, and I'm doing it wrong here. All right, so okay, this is what you want to do. No, don't press enter. You see how it says object? You go down one. You pick destination. Object. It's bugged. It's a. It's the the mission's bugged. You've picked up the object, which is the, which is the backpack. Uh, but the mission doesn't really uh, understand that you picked it up already, I guess. And, and if you press object and taxi to object, you end up going to like the center of Algonquin. And then if you and then if you press enter, you get back into your cab and you spam enter again to, to you're going to probably think, oh, I'm at the object, so there's no way my my taxi is going to take me back here. Well, it doesn't really work that way either. You're going to go right back to the same spot over and over again, and uh, that's just the way it works. You got a nice Wait, bug. Why does it happen like that? Ask Powdernet or somebody. Don't ask <laughs> me. Now this is the other mission with a pretty much anyone who runs this game should should know that they need to lock their FP. I don't know if you're, it's going to happen to you or not when you start this mission. Um. But you want to. You want to enter and skip the cutscene here with high FPS. Or low FPS, low FPS. You want to have it locked to like around 26. And, and then once you get out, you can unlock at this point. If you don't do that, there's a chance your game is going to soft lock there. Yeah, yeah. very high chance, I'd say. It's strange though, because I didn't have like a bad PC. And for all those years, I didn't have to do this. And then when I got the HP gaming rig, uh, I, I, be, I needed to. I'm... There are people with getting lower frames suffering from a soft lock there than when, when I was running for over the last few years with a different computer and I, I believe I was getting higher frames and I wasn't soft locking and I was on the same version and everything so it's odd maybe it's hardware dependent yeah it should be because it's not like exclusively FPS dependent like you're limited to 50 and you're still soft lock All right, I better not screw this one up. So you want to just start shooting the back of the car immediately. 
You gotta be careful here. I'll see. I mean, I might mess it up. I don't know. We'll see. If... Yeah, you have to like slow down at certain point. You wait until he says thank you. Then you then you warp out. If you don't wait, you're gonna have to get back into a car with him. The guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. I'm gonna hail here just because. Is he gonna get stuck? He kind of waited. He has to enter the marker with you. Alright, the next thing happening here is um, getting a call from Ray. That might be thrown off. And I, at this point, I don't think anything is really thrown off. But one thing you do want to do, you want to make sure that you hail this once it's like uh, at about this point. So where it's going to end up is down here at the end of the wall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a route where I run over that and jump over this wall straight ahead. There's a very precise spot where you want to jump, though. It's behind the bush. It might be on the wrong I think it's about dead center. So that he kind of falls down the wall. And uh, you also want to have like a rocket launcher or some object that you can move quickly with in your hand. There he rolls. Um, he just now ran around and got stuck instead of just doing what I wanted him to do. Yeah. Kyle Doe to my shift pass. Oh, he, either that, will, that, he either will go here or over there, but I don't think he'll ever grab you and steal, take you out of here during this mission. It's There are some missions that are like designed to do that. or It's not just like the taxi being random. It's like it just it never will happen on certain missions. Alright, so here... You have to shoot the passenger in this coquette if you want to take a route that's different to the one that the driver over takes. So Carl does want to do that, so he shoots the driver and takes a different path that also rubber bands the enemy to its destination. And the enemies here don't spawn. Uh, before the... Oh god. The... Uh oh Missed. Okay, this is not good. Oh, just about. That was unfortunate. I, uh, I just, like, missed some headshots there and, uh, led to almost a big mistake. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go in and grab the, uh, the health pack. You can get it in the in the strip club. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. He's gonna turn. All right, good. With a marker placed here, turns, and he'll he'll hang out here even if uh, yeah, even if you don't hail. Hell is it again? Is it on the back wall? I forget now. Here it is. Oh, you were looking at. Oh that. God, not her. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. I do not want it. I do not want it one at all. Oh wait, he didn't trigger that. That way, I waited pretty pretty long before touching the marker. That I don't know why that didn't work. You can get the phone call canceled by the security guy here. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, that, that's why that's why I've uh, uh, that's why I hang back, you know, in the middle there. Usually, I hang back in the area. Normally, I don't have to go get a health pack. All right, so this is uh, what you're going to want to do here is hopefully you don't have a taxi like this getting in your way too much. Yet another American truck simulator mission. Yeah, here we go. 
Oh, it's the good can. Well, I can, I can show the hood, just uh, bring us into the truck a little bit more. Immerse us. Boy, I do love trucking. Hell yeah. We're going to pick up the heroin delivery. Or oh, is it cocaine? Oh my god. I don't know. I never, I never read the storybook. DH. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's the C. <laughs> no, he does say H. The like H. in live and die in Alderney, the age the age that my nephew has been sitting on. Th that's the one he's stealing here, I believe. Yeah, yeah it should be heroin. Well, that's truck hustle. Oh, what a! I don't know. Oh, it's lots of drugs. Hustle. Lots of drugs. Uh, H and C O and C A and C R and I don't know what C. <laughs> it's a bit complicated. Amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give this stuff to my boss and go home. Yeah, barrels in this mission are also very useful. You don't have to kill all the enemies to progress well. Like kind of have to know which ones are necessary. Can I pull this off? Oh, is it the the, the bell push? Yeah, you want to basically like. Nice, I did it. He jumps over the boat if you if you push it over to the the right, and then he just like warps to the seat. Yeah, nice. Okay, the run this the run is saved. I can finish. Happy man. Yeah, Kyle just gained all the time he lost back. Alright, now Kyle is going to visit Morphin's favorite island in the game. Does it have a name? RPG. RPG Island. Oh, that's a great question. What are the rules on performance enhancers on IV leaderboards? No performance enhancers. That's a blanket statement. Yeah, this uh, rocket launcher spawn is very convenient because you have to wait for Bell anyway. And you, while, while doing so, you get the most powerful weapon in the game. So very nice. Ends up perfectly. Looking up at that plane there, I also think like in a future GTA it would be nice to be able to like fly and t you know actually like interact in the plane. Like sit down if you want to st if you want to skip the trip, go ahead. If you don't, then you actually can sit there in first person t on your flight, see everybody in the plane, you know, walk to the bathroom. I think that's the future of gaming. If anybody agrees, please give us a plus, plus in chat. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Interacting in a huge plane is the future of gaming. Plus it is. Mind. Yeah, it is. It really is. Just wait and see. Okay. Coming. The future is close. Yeah, if you like, uh, go to this jetty like this, and exit the, um, exit the boat and trigger the end of mission marker immediately. Is a convenient LRG spawn.
which only spawns there after the mission ends. Yeah, so you can drive to a cab, the fastest vehicle in the game. That taxi had nobody. I should have looked a little closer. No. Is uh, will be another push bell strand. I haven't realized that there were two push bell strands in this run. I want to close that door so he doesn't get in a little too soon. Nice. Okay. You have that. That may look like you know. You think like just get in the taxi and warp and everything works out, but then that doesn't work on this mission. You have to. And this strategy isn't, isn't as easy as it looks. Yeah. If you just let the if you just let Bell get into the cab, he's going to leave it immediately. You'll cab without him to this mission, and it will fail. It's a nice grenade strand. Mm, kind of. Strange how it turned out, but yeah. This is one of those really good missions. Yeah, they're all in so such weird places, rolling. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't usually happen. He's stuck inside. He doesn't really matter. Like he, he can't die. He can fall off. He can get stuck. You just have to make your way up to the roof. Yeah. Not really. Oh, did I really just fail this? There we oh. go. He went up for a little bit. All right. So you want to? Oh, nice. Just, just cool kill. Yeah. Is the most complicated combat role of the game. Yeah. If you if you if you fail this, you slip off the roof and die. What are the cabs? I decided to one hundred. Yeah, that, for some reason, there's always a cab here. I have my knife out. Uh-oh. Embar how embarrassing. Here we are, man. End of the line. Yeah. yeah, luckily, get, gets in the knife in the pocket animation is shorter than the gun one. So it's not too embarrassing. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Side. So, uh... no, don't you usually take the other side. Hey, of the okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just didn't didn't think too much about it. There. Yeah. I think it, well, there might be even something to that taking that side. Maybe. Yeah, then that works perfectly fine. It just seemed like it might be better, and if you don't take a closer look every so often, you might think just, just get stuck doing it, and maybe it is. He, the thing is, if I take the, if he's closer, he, he's like not running towards the marker, you're running towards the marker, and you're further, and then it's like, it's hard to say if he's actually, at its fastest, what's, what is fastest. You don't know this, the 50 fans watching these cars. No, I thought Phil Please, someone tell me. You have to, I could, you know, at some point I might just like go through doing a little, little test of every little thing. <laughs> yeah, so here you want to get in front of Frankie and rubber band him, but you don't want to get too far away from him. Frankie. You're getting, uh, you, your bell's in the other car. Frankie's, Frankie's the oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're driving Frankie. You do want to, you do want to slow down every so often here. It's not like a problem if you do. You do you, there, you can outrun him actually. Um, you also are kind of just praying that he doesn't blow up. There are there are strategies to uh, you know reduce the likelihood of this happening, but oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, 
Yeah, I got him out of the way. He's moving at top speed still, so it's it's all fine. Okay. Yeah, he time to though. Oh, I can I can pay this very luckily. I wonder if I can pull off that strategy here. Oh, that one, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Didn't work. Not not the right car. I think we're determined it's He's dead. Our friend is dead. Yeah, you don't want to take uh, Frankie's SMG this in this room because you want the other one, the one Kyle has right now for Boys Ahoy. Do you not snipe the helicopter anymore? Nah, there's no reason. But I do get two star wanted level instead. Unless you blow it up. Bastard's dead. Why aren't you oh. all sad when Ivan dies? That's that's the real sad moment. I have my I have my gun out again. I think I, I just spammed. Oh, I didn't place the marker. <laughs> uh, one another marker uh, forgotten. Just let's bring him over here. Oh well, I'll just find another cab here. Hopefully. Problem. Uh oh, we got a problem. Uh oh. That is very bad. That is bad. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I, I zoomed in way too far, weren't I? So can you... Let's do it. Thanks. Oh, yeah, oh, is it too early? What? Oh, it's actually too early, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I, I thought it was for a moment, though. Yeah, keeping everyone in danger to see it again. Yeah, Kyle gets the one level here to guarantee attacks. It was the text. It was almost too early. I forget, was it 4, 5.45 or 6.45? I don't remember. It was 6. Is it 6.45 to 7 p.m.? Okay. I wasn't even I think thinking about it. 5 to 18.45? Maybe even. 18.45? Yeah. It says so on my 100% split. I have to trust nothing on this one. It's appropriate to be using military time. These two were in the military. <laughs> the army or something. Well, military covers this. this is as good a spot as any. All right, can I do this? It's easy. Yeah, if you shoot the, if you kill the guys, uh, Early here, you don't have to go through this very long chase that ends on a different island. But Kyle is actually going to teleport there anyway. Luckily, there are a lot of cab spawns. Yeah, there's one. There's two. So where do we need to? You want to take the taxi here? Hopefully, I didn't get with back to. Actually, I, I could take this car. This thing's pretty fast. Nice to have. Forgive me, my friend. I'll call the police and let me be. This should be. 
heard of Kate. You do have Kate, yeah. Is this normally Kate? I think it is. Yeah, I guess, uh, so I already have Kate. Why do I have Kate already? That's uh, that's throwing me off here. Uh, instead of, uh, hmm. Well, this went a bit of a bit out of mark. How to tell? I haven't nobody. We haven't said that yet. <laughs> and so this is uh, pull out the uh, RPG about here, and then aim it up in this area. He dies. If only explained it like that to Fru. Do this, do that. It works out every time. So I, I have been paying attention to my... Uh, I think when I when I looked at my time and it said like 13. So we've gone to 16, 19, and then uh, 20, 22. Uh, what is it right now? So the time before pay and spring here is 11.30. So that would have been um, 7.30, no, 6, 7, 8.30, 8.30. So what we want to do is go again here. Because normally if you're finishing this mission, uh, you want you want to kind of be at around 11. Uh, things are off. Things are definitely thrown off by a good bit. I'm gonna do it like that. So I got I got hers in. Um... Oh, it was the date call. That's all right that it came in there. I could have just uh, drove this way instead, but that's not a huge difference, I suppose. You do want to have a taxi waiting here. You do, you do have time to kind of like look around, you know, but. He's gonna drive all the way up here. Okay, so now we go do the ransom mission. Um, what side of the car should I be on? It's a, eh, it doesn't really matter, but. Where to? Right, then. Here we are. Great, thanks. Just want to hail, go in. Don't cause me no more trouble. Don't push her or something. I don't know if you can even do that. But I have that thought shooting through my head here. Call to get rid of an end of mission call. Um, this is putting a marker just about right here. You do. There's a strategy holding C in the fade here in the uh, loading screen. So when you come, you know when it fades in, if you're holding C, you'll prevent things from spawning around you. Uh, there is a slight problem here, though, because I think this guy's gonna come, still come after me, and he could, he could get hit near this cop, which would be bad. You can't be up here on the marker if you're on the uh, sitting there at the marker position, or even like a little closer there. You're gonna be in an area where the call would be blocked. It's hard to explain. That. Yeah, if you shoot the driver of the first car, then stop. Oh? How did that guy get hit at all in the head? I was literally aiming at him the entire time. Wow. Who am I not? Who's not dead? Well, this guy's still alive. See, that's, that's great GTA 4 design, where uh, you can shoot at somebody, and they're not actually dead, even though they, they fell over. Um, which is good. I mean, that makes for a better game. It's 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 true. 
They, they even have their guns like dropped. They're so still alive. Yeah, they'll drop their gun. They're they're not. I mean, like the the way I look at that, I I like to are, repeat man. myself. Um, I think it's I think it's great design to you know have an enemy that can be still alive in a game where you're shooting at each other. It's better to sometimes have somebody you know bleeding out on the ground adds another like dynamic to the game, which some games don't really have. They everybody dies the moment they fall over that type of thing. I don't. Yeah, Kyle is a big fan of gore. I don't know you can call it gore. It's just more like impact. You know, when somebody's on the ground in a game like this, it's meant to be a meant to be a violent well, game. Like bleeding. Yeah, they're bleeding out. They're they're yeah. You know, it's if you, oh, they're not literally. I mean, they're they're the blood puddle doesn't appear until uh, you kill them, but you know they're dying. It's like if after they finally die, the blood puddle appears. It's, you didn't shoot them again, you know. That was our, that that wound was already there. Uh, unless you do shoot them again, but even if you don't shoot them again, I think the blood puddle will appear if they die finally. Look, in my mind, it's a bit comical. It's a bit it's a bit too comical when everybody just dies the moment they like get hit a few times and then trip and fall. You know, it's like Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, a lot of these are headshots, so it, they will they will fall and, and die immediately. So, I mean, even though headshots technically can Oh, he just warped. I have two guys alive. Uh, that's unfortunate. You you can survive a headshot. I've heard. I think I've, I've, I've heard that as well, but I'm not sure how how true that's, that is. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him yeah, here it's important to not break too, too early. Because if you break too early, you don't lose them. And you have to drive around or kill them. Depends on what you want to do. I was eyeing, I was eyeing my split file and I have the knife out. How embarrassing. Thank you very much. Just keeps happening. I feel like the combat missions are pretty, pretty hard, I'd say. Some of the best. I mean, Entourage is a little slow with its driving, but I do think these are some of the, some fine examples of mission design. Yeah, yeah. they are it's, great. If it's fun to play over and over again, that's a sign of a good mission. that away early enough. Oh wow, you're quite long now. Man. You're right about that. Grab some here. Not catch on fire through the wall. No, this guy could shoot me. That went really well. Getting a, uh, I'm not quite sure if I can get Packy's text. What, what's what's the time? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. With everything so thrown off. Let's do it. That's great. There's his text, so that's good. I hope that's it. Yeah, it should be his. I don't know who else that would be. This one. Yeah. So you do want to get, uh, it's better to get on the side. So there's a marker placement here, which is like right about here. You just kind of have to put it down right where you think it should be. Um, if you want to see, this should be a good spot. Now this is a slight bug in the mission design here where you'll warp. Wherever you're spawning, if there's like an area above you that you could stand on, he will appear on it.
It's actually, it's amazing. It's uh, how this works, but it's great that it works that way, I should say. I, I like to think that he took some kind of a lift there. Yeah, think didn't lose too much. You believe he did? Took a lift up there. Maybe he went inside. I think that, I mean, that's what, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. That's what people would assume. I didn't say anything. Fun way to go. Thank you. Or they'd call you out for cheating. They'd say like, this timestamp right here, I see something really suspicious happening and I think this guy should be investigated. Do well, we wait? You're already on the investigation after the 251 FPS incident. I had to run into the marker early enough. Um, go over here. Just on the correct side. I know a fun Somebody yeah, does. They leave comments like that. They'll. They'll. Well, it's good. I guess it's good to be at be. You know, constantly being checked. Having your. You're not just like fine after a time. After enough time has passed, you're just like accepted as this guy can't ever. This guy would never cheat. You know, because those people do. Like there are long-term runners that do cheat after being. <laughs> It's happened before. So it's good uh, to still have people like scrutinizing your run and saying, this looks suspicious right here. If we didn't have those people, maybe some, some other people wouldn't have been caught. Yeah, but thank then you, you get, Yeah, thank you for uh, posting the timestamps and saying, suddenly it fla the screen flashed and it looked like a frame popped in here that, check, the, check this moment for a splice or something. <laughs> those comments appear. So often. Game mods can be really lazy. Nice taxi here. So you want to place this marker uh, right about here. Right here. You're waiting for a call here um, from Roman or from uh, your paper, your paper, and then and then you warp after you're hanging up the call with your paper and. Oh, wait a second. No. Mm -hmm. I, I was I was combining two like missions in my head. Here we are. It's a wrap. Yeah, you get get to meet the guy that Nico was looking for right from the start of the game. Very important mission, law wise. When the speedrunner is just pretty much cab to the place, meet the guy and <laughs> cab come to another place. See that taxi spawn there? Why would I kill him? Should I use a different gun? Will this Nico's percent plus run be accepted after that? No, not a chance. Ointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us with a sword or spear. Uh, completed this mission like blocks the activity calls. Well, no, technically not yet because it's not like this mission's still available, so those those calls aren't blocked yet. Is it true? Yeah, because I just used it to get rid of that end of mission call. Hmm. I guess you normally call Bernie. If your route has like this already completed, yeah, that'd be true at that point. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Place that a little earlier so I didn't have to zoom in so far. And there's a strat here. It is real. Oh, he's going through. Oh, no. Can't believe this. This is rare. This is so rare. Push him just to maybe dent his car a little bit. So the strategy here is uh, you want to call 
and hang up. That will otherwise uh, you'll have to wait there for a little bit before Nico will actually step on the gas. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, like in trees the crowd, but here the the difference is more evident. A lot of sliding going on there. Even with locked FPS, it was like drifting. Yeah, this cone is really. Normally, uh, you don't have a cop or anybody waiting there, though, so it's like it would have probably been okay. You have bikes spawning there all the time on the corb, on the the corb or the curb, as they call. Corb in the corb. Can you have a wanted level when you enter this mission? Uh -oh. Don't remember. All right, even if I need to get rid of it. Forget if you do or not. Let's do this. All right. oh, never know. Yeah, in this mission, you don't actually have to kill all the guys down here. You do want to, if you can. I mean, the other pro the problem is one of the guys will end up running over to the taxi and like firing at you. Oh yeah. This could be a problem. And that's a that's a big problem if that happens. And then he'll scare he'll scare the taxi. This guy says are you following me? That's some nice grenade throwing. Yeah. Wow. Um I guess I threw that one a little late. Holy crap. It's all right. It's all gonna work out. Uh, through the first one, I guess I was a little closer, firing those shots at those guys, and uh, I was just like, I didn't begin like priming the grenade a little. I needed to be like priming it earlier, throwing it. Push him here, so... Yeah, you need like to get him it. down there sooner. He needs to be, like, hanging around. And then you want to look down and set it to 100. Continue looking down a little bit, and... And he always gets it. Oh god, that blocked me. Jesus. I remember when you guys told me about this strat, and I pushed him off and he died. Yeah, I was Fucking thinking... Was oh, you... <laughs> nah, he... That never happened. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, the strategy is consistent. Oh god, I forgot he's getting pulled around by these cars instead of... Uh, he should have been on the other side because of this. Forgot about this. It's like it's like jumping out the window in Teal It works for everyone but me for some reason. Unlucky. Yeah, you're, you're, you're pushing for very few teams. Yeah, he, here comes the, the end game. the three final missions well, technically four but this one is not really a mission it's not turning for me here turning there was a taxi right here yeah that's good Are you kidding? He's like actually gonna. Oh man! All right, Let, let's just slow down, dude. Just, dude, dude, just stop the car. All right, stop the car. That's just bad. I could, I could have probably end up, ended up in front of him sooner. I thought he was gonna slow down though. The other taxi had somebody in it. I thought it wouldn't be a good idea to bother if he would slow down.
Yeah, well, Kyle's taking the helicopter for a dear stuff called the revenge ending. And yeah, it saves an enormous amount of time. Because you basically keep like 80% of all the shooting that the games want you to do. little bit off there i mean i did get packy's text in which i wanted to there's always I, I don't know what the time is right now but there's that chance he his text gets in the way if you let me look at the time all right taxiing and sleeping once will be will, will be good oh he's getting out over here okay whatever uh can i get under here that was a little unfortunate that that happened. Did I get that guy? I just land the helicopter here, right next uh, to the cabin where you open up the cargo hold. Where Dmitri is. Be able to blow up that uh, barrel so your enemies don't blow it up right in front of your face and kill you. So I could just do two pan, pan sprays or I could taxi and sleep once. Um, I think I'll decide based on what happens here. Just get this up for the hell of it. All right, let me grab this. Yeah, what, what Kyle talks about right now is that he has to uh, line up the time correctly for the wedding. It has the time has to be between eight and ten. It doesn't matter whether it's like the same day or the next day. Just like he, he has to get to that time window. This will be better. I don't want to bother with all that pain spray stuff. You know, it's such a pain in the ass. Oh yeah. This actually, this is really good to have it, um, other than ending up right in the frame, time frame, time window. Yeah, paint spraying can be really annoying. You can like block field skull. <laughs> you can steal the cab. I'm just gonna get his yeah. call first. Or like walk out and the door thing happens with the mm -hmm. top ten most annoying things in GTA 4. Yes, uh, so now Kyle just waits for the for for Nico to call Kate. Yeah, do this. Just don't want a police car here. You need to. Yeah. See, I could tell he was about to leave. Instead of getting out, just pulls away. It's, it's really unfortunate that there's no fixed car spawn for this. We're you can use... To get me. You're I set the marker here nice. to get close to the marker. Shall we go to, the church? Uh, yeah. to the mission marker. Oh, I'm and you just... Yeah, run into the crowd. I know. Crowd of your closest friends. Uh, okay, so only oh, one. Okay. The FPS is getting up there to two fifty. Oh god, is it going to show two fifty one? I saw I saw two fifty one. Wasn't a community gold. Oh, what a waste. 251 and not a. Even with 251, you didn't ma manage to get the in morning community gold. 
Damn, this thing wasn't. I should have waited. It was. It was. Uh, I thought I could get in soon enough and save a little time, but I actually lost time now that I. Oh yeah. It was so close. I don't know. There it goes. That's okay. Just, just uh, explaining more strategies. Don't get in. Wait for the text. Don't try to push it. All right. This is the the most important strategy of all. Yeah. Uh, so, if you're doing this mission casually, you're just following the bad guys in the Huntley spot. But if you want to do it quickly, you might as well do everything yourself without worrying about them. Well, actually, with worrying about them. But uh, taking your, your own route to the destination. So, you think that it would be just, it would make sense for Kyle to just drive there? But he cannot actually do it, because you still cannot let the guys get too far away from you. So what he does here, he like, gets to a certain point, uh, kind of rubber bands them. Uh, and yeah, starting from here, uh, he can just drive to the destination while looking at them. If he stops looking at them, the mission fails. Yeah. If I so they're on the screen right now, like they are over there. Uh, you have to keep. Oh God! Oh God! I, that's okay though. I, I I at the last moment, you know, you know, you need to be paying attention to that that turn that curve, and I was paying attention up to the last. <laughs> anyway, it's okay that that happened because um, slowing down is all right early on. I didn't want to have like a moment where I didn't know if I could continue if you if you don't slow down a little bit you're gonna have probably an, in, an instance where if you're way too fast you're gonna outrun them even though you're looking back at them still problem now is that I ran into a few things in the front is um, I have a lot of black smoke they could do like Leo strats and reverse into the battery Yeah, it's not looking so good, cousin. It's it's pretty light smoke. It's uh, it's not dark yet. So. I'm going for it because I uh, I'm not uh, concerned. At this point, it's not too dark. Could be darker. Cannot be bothered. <laughs> yeah, rocket launching is very useful for this mission. Wow, they're really firing at me from outside, so which is interesting. Yeah, you, you can even go rocket launcher for those guys. Damn, they, just... they they did not they did not die from that. I'm gonna grab the health just to be safe. Um no one costs Oh god, what he's he's stuck in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the rocket to use to get up here a little sooner. Wow, I did the roll, but he didn't do it. What the hell? Like, I pressed the button. As you can see, you can't kill, can't kill him. You're supposed to do a roll there, a combat roll, like, off of the other ledges. Um, wow. I thought that last shot would have hit him, even though I hit the top of that barrel. Anyway. All right. Let's... Yeah, you hit them in the head and they didn't die. Proves you. You know Wow, you're actually doing this on high fans? No, I'm gonna lock it now. There's a point where I... kinda... I don't know if I wanna have it locked for this moment up here, though. And I could hit- I could hit a piece of wood. This wood right yeah. up here. 
Which, which some have hit in the past and flipped. Oh, wow. What the hell was that? What the fuck? Wow, what the hell was that? Just got, like, sucked into the ground. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right. Yeah, I don't really need a lot of speed to make this down. He's not climbing in. That was odd. Like, I, like, uh, like, got sucked into the ground by the water there. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the pigeon kill. Okay. Close Let's see. Got it. This run is officially going into the record books. Let's see. You heard it. You could see the blood and you could hear it. Well, I couldn't hear it, but I could see the, the text. So what is it, like, 350? It's gonna be just under 350. Oh, 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 this is not good. <laughs> Wait, the timer on screen is underestimate. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the reason I included it to fool everybody. Sorry, guys, I meant load this time. Yeah, I meant load this time. I guess it. I guess I should have, should have made that clear. <laughs> three fifty oh one, but technically it's under three fifty because the timer ends the moment the scene shows up and not when it normally would split. Uh, here's the pigeon kill. Where, where do they put that? Underscore. Pigeons exterminated. One. There we go. Perfect. The only pigeon you need to kill. All right. Yeah, that was a. It was a. It was a. You know, it was a roller coaster that just that just kept on going up. But uh, now we get to go down. That that means it's the it's one of the best coasters in the world. Now we're going down after going up for three hours and fifty minutes. All right. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks for uh, having me, Ben. Hey, Jimin. Pleasure to have you, Kyle. All right. Never mind. You just called me Benjamin. Uh, <laughs> No, I take that back. <laughs> Not a pleasure to have you. Oh. This will be the last time you still see Kyle on this channel. So make sure, <laughs> make sure you make the most of it. But thank you to okay. Steve for coming in. Yeah, uh, thanks for the commentary. Run, yep. But then also sticking around, yeah. So we'll be back very soon with the final run for the day. Kaspersky will be doing LCS for us. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Another meditation moment from Radio.